Hey, how you doing? Thanks for tuning in. Mm. Hit me with that fucking jam. Hey, welcome. Uh, welcome back to Wide Chat. Welcome to the first latent game on the 3DS. Widescreen puzzles called polygons. My God, what can't they do? I don't know. We're gonna find out. Um, hope you're doing well. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, Professor! Hope you're all having a good weekend. Happy uh, daylight saving for those who observe. So if you don't and you're like, why? I mean, I'm late, so maybe it's not even that. I don't know. I don't know what time it is. All I know is it's puzzle time. Uh, hope everyone's doing good and nice and good chill times. Um, More Leighton, more Leighton. I, I don't know. I have nothing to say. Um, we did watch the Leighton movie on the Discord yesterday. Uh, a lot of you turned up, so thank you. It was a lot of fun. Um, if anyone hasn't seen that movie, I recommend looking it up. It doesn't matter for the, the overarching... There's no overarching plot. I mean, there kind of is. I, it doesn't matter. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Leighton is just what Leighton is. Uh, so, I wouldn't... Let me just uh, 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 switch over to the, the game audio, because this shit... So I started streaming with this, this theme, incredible, stunning. 
It's very good. The movie added zero new information. Exactly. <laughs> I don't think any of it ever comes up ever again. Uh, even though it's like a, a big deal. It's just, you gotta love it. You gotta love it. Especially going from like that movie to what it's technically later in the timeline of the first game, Curious Village. And it's like, seems so quaint by comparison. <laughs> it's just the like, I don't know if it's like, it's like, I don't think flanderization is the right word, but it's like a long running series just becomes more and more ridiculous to keep things interesting. And then when you go back to what's later in the timeline, but technically was the first one they made, but early in time, whatever. It's just like, how, how did they go from this to like, oh, there's a cute little village. It's just DBZation. Yeah, maybe stakes creep. Possibly. I mean, for a movie, you expect the stakes to be big, but like, still, it's very silly. Anyway, it was a lot of fun watching it on the Discord. Uh, I currently don't have plans to do another movie night. People were like, we should do this more often. I, it was a lot of fun, uh, but I'm just letting you know. It's like a case by case thing for me. Uh, d d this is just gonna download to my computer. <laughs> it's the problem with sharing MP4s through Discord. Um, break it down on the accordion. How about, how about it? How about it? Soup. Absolutely. This soup reminds me of a puzzle. Thank you. Um, this is, uh, is, I'm, I'm assuming this is what I think it is. So I'm just gonna watch it. You, you mustn't disappear. <laughs> what? Actually, I realized it's a clip from the movie and maybe I can't watch that on stream. Fuck it. Oh god. It broke, because I paused it. There he goes. Yeah. That was... Okay, thank you. <laughs> that was, uh... Yeah. <laughs> thank you. I kind, I kind of... Yeah. By pausing, I kind of messed up the time. You, whatever. You know. Being a streamer's fun. Thank you. That's a gift. <laughs> that melody! Um... Maybe say that I, I don't know. I'm, I, it's why I'm, I'm like always very cautious to watch things on stream because I'm like, you never know. The strangest things get you bopped. But anyway, this one. I was very ill. Father played Megalovania for me every day and it made me worse and worse. I begged him to stop, but he was like, hold on, check this out. And he played the first four notes. Thank you. Welcome back. Appreciate it. I'm gonna get caught up on stuff so we can hop into Layton in the Miracle Mask, uh, which is a very exciting time. I mean, I don't know. I, 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 uh, feel like I talked about this a lot with the uh, last Spectre, that, like, I remember the first three games pretty damn well, and the prequel trilogy, even though I played them technically more recently, it was, like, a decade ago. Holy shit, it's been a decade since this came out. Um, but it's, like, I, what I remember of these games is much more scattershot. So, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's fun for me to revisit and be like, oh, yeah! Like, I forgot a lot about last Spectre. Um, whereas this is, uh, I, I want to say I remember, like, the main plot beats, but uh, it's, it's hazy. It's been a bit... On the game five, yeah. But I, I just remember picking this up and just being so bummed by the, uh... By the, uh, uh, uh by the polygons. Because the 2D art in these games... And the cutscenes are still traditional 2D animation. Um, but the in-game art is 3D. And, uh, I just remember being very bummed. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to flavor y'all's opinion. It maybe maybe it's better than I remember. But... I was just like, oh. So, they tried. They did. And, I mean, the new one seems to be 3D that looks much better. I don't know if what they showed in the trailers is real time, but... I have faith they'll make it look good in the new one. But for the, these, for this game and then the, the last game, as of right now, Azrin Legacy, they're, they're on the 3DS in the 3D. It's amazing. It's beautiful. When Ace Attorney went to 3D? Mm-hmm. Trying to put a, get a ball in a cup. The most ultimate puzzle. Consider the late movie a part of the mainline series, basically the full experience of the Layton game. Well, that that's like what I remember the most vivid. I, I it's watching rewatching Layton and the Eternal Diva was um, hilarious because all I remembered from watching it like ten plus years ago, or whatever, because um, it came out around the same time. Uh, I just remembered that there were puzzles in the movie, and that that was so funny to me. 
that the movie adaptation of the puzzle gentleman video games has not just puzzles, but like they play the puzzle music diegetically within the scene and a giant 001 appears to be like, it's puzzle one. And everyone walks around the movie going, hmm, like that is so funny to me. That it's like, it's, it's, it's one thing in the game to be walking around and someone's like, hold on, I gotta stop you and you gotta solve this puzzle. And you're like, okay, it's a video game. You're like, it's like that level of suspension of disbelief. But then when it's happening in a scene with characters and stakes, life or death stakes, it's like, puzzle number two! And then zero, zero, two, it's like, this is... Calling it a fever dream doesn't do it justice for how absolutely absurd and how... I'm so glad they did that. I'm so, so happy there's puzzles in the movie. But that's what I fixated on when I remembered it. And what I forgot was um, the plot and how absolutely bonkers it gets way out there. <laughs> there were many points during that movie where everyone in the Discord chat was just like, what? Myself included. Just, huh? Which, that's what you want. You know, and if the new Layton game doesn't have a plot with like a twist that makes me want to break my Switch in half, I won't think it's a, a good enough success successor. Reinstall, a new installment in the Layton franchise. Grosky was a hero. Grosky has some very good moments. You know, he's in, he's in Last Spectre, and he has some, some... I mean, when you first see him, he breaks through a window and wrestles a guy. Like, it's great. He's a good good character. But yeah. Several people are typing. Yeah. They, yeah. It's fun on Discord. Anyway. Uh, let me get caught up on stuff. Uh, but, but, but he got... I don't know how he got his underwear back. That man's was flying a plane in his nothings. I was going to say his skivvies. In his nothings. If he's breaking windows, he's breaking my heart. Um, in between streams, I want to dim sum sub with Prime, thereby transferring the curse onto me, and now I want dim sum, so how dare you. Triumphant Obtuse resub for 32 months, and Adam Five Numbers resub for 26, when I was almost about to start stream, and said, that feel when you've been sitting here for 20 minutes trying to think of a funny resub message. I mean, I thought that was pretty good. And <laughs> a cursed beast. Uh, thank you. It's a ghost party. Thanks for 45 months. Luke, please. Autism Dragon, thanks for 34. Barry, do you like video games? What's video games? Never heard of that. Electronic entertainment? Never heard of it. I like my media analog outside. Just, just VHS tapes in the sun. Uh, thank you. Smash thanks for 69 bits. Who needs the Oscars when you got someone far more entertaining? Am I talking about Barry or Layton? Yes. I forgot the Oscars were today. The only reason I would possibly care about the Oscars today is if if uh, if Steph Shu wins an Oscar, <laughs> that would be that would be wild. So uh, when they get to uh, uh, best supporting actor or actress, rather, let me know. Ah. They are? I mean, apparently. Puss in Boots better win. Is that it for best movie of the decade? Only Oscar I care about is Oscar Isaac. Bam! Boom! Not even wrong. Oh. Yeah, make it a new tradition. No. Red Nine Herring, thanks for 25 months. Bar- Barthetic resting at the bonfire. Uh... Sarah Land Piana. It's a pi Let me try- Sarah Land Panda. Nice. My brain didn't know how to turn that into words. Uh, thank you, Sarah. For eight months. Welcome back. Jaden Sai, thanks for 30, 23 months. That's like two years. Uh, Sanglupmon Xantabody, thanks for nine months. 3D Luke. Hyper Luke, but it's 3D and he spins around. Gotcha. It should win something. It should win something. Uh, Rosebud Wolf, thank you for the hammy. Professor! Senri Dragon, thanks for 16 months. Author Incognito, thanks for five. I must abscond from the stream because I'm working through the series on my own. Look forward to watching this in Vodland. PS Chat Cute. Vibe Watchers too. Thank you. Hope you enjoy, and hope you enjoy the game when you get to it. Remember, the eShop is shutting down in like a week and a half or something, <laughs> so you gotta you gotta jump on these games. Uh, Consolo, thanks for gifting a sub to Miss Fluffy Kitty for their 53rd month. Holy hell. Sleepy Demon Goat, thanks for 11 months. Hey Barry, good luck, have fun. While I didn't exactly like the 3DS Layton games, I still enjoyed them. Can't wait to watch you experience the wild stories with chat in Vodland. Hope you enjoy the VODs. Thank you so much for the months of support. Uh, that one drew from our thanks for 10 bits. Have a poob or 10. I don't think poob and bits are directly transferable, but thank you. 
Uh, Rival Link, thanks for seven months. Shout out to everyone who was at movie night yesterday. Forgot how much I liked Eternal Diva and how much the soundtrack slaps. If there's one consistent fact of Layton, the soundtracks go hard, man. Shit's good. Uh, Trumpet Wings, thanks for hanging. Thank you for movie night. I had quite a bit of fun. Glad you liked it. Thank you. I had a blast myself. Thank you. I'm glad it worked out because I used the Discord stage to do it because my first plan was like, oh, I could just do a screen share through a video call. And then I learned that that has a hard limit uh, that's not very high. Um, and I was like, well, I could use the YouTube activity they built in the video calls, which has unlimited participants, but only works on desktop. And I was, as I was like doing research for the last like couple months, I mean, it's not like this took a ton of planning. I just like had thought about trying to do it. Uh, literally like a couple weeks ago or something, Discord was like, by the way, stages now have video share. And I was like, perfect. <laughs> this is exactly what I think is is what I need for this. So, uh, yeah, that, that worked out. So, only very minor tech issues at the start. It was great. Elven Dork, thanks for 16 months. Welcome back. Indifferent Cat, thanks for 96 bits. We puzzled in 3D today, baby. Recently got my hands on the Catriel game to play before the new Layton comes out. It's kind of bad. You should totally stream it. I have never played Katriel, and the amount of mixed messages I've gotten from people dropping it in the, the recommend form that I have, which, thank you for people that drop stuff in there from time to time. Um, I've gotten several people saying, it's horrible, you should stream it. I've gotten a few people saying, it's horrible, do not stream it. So, I don't, ha I don't have plans at the moment, but, you know, we'll see. We still have this and Azran Legacy to get through at the very least. Do puzzles of this use the gyroscope? Oh, I don't remember. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've gotten I've gotten people fill out the recommend doc just to say don't do this. Uh, and there was someone who not not too long ago made a recommendation for me to turn off the screen dimming on my Switch because I would talk at the start of stream and my Switch would keep dimming and I have to touch. And they, they, their recommendation was just like the file path to get to the option. It was like system settings. <laughs> I was like... I guess, I guess, I guess I didn't think about it as like, this is the thing I can solve very easily. So, it's fine. Latent but worse. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I, I am curious, but again, we'll see. I'm not ruling it in or out. I'm just, it's like, I have other games to play first. So. First four lanes are great. Eternal Diva's great. Miracle Mask haven't finished yet. Made a hard call in the first 20 minutes or so. Every hint of the game is just confirmed, I guess, about the ending. I hear Azran Legacy commits character assassination on Emmy. I don't remember. I remember I remember things about other characters. I don't remember stuff about Emmy. Emmy kicks ass in the movie, though. Like, I thought she got, like, soft fridged near the beginning. They're like, we're going to have an adventure. You stay behind. <laughs> you wait here by the car. And it's like, uh, okay. And then she has, like, a, a whole fucking thing. It's great. It's good. Poor Flora. I mean, there were people watching the movie being like, where's Flora? It's like, this is before Curious Village. Flora is just living in a village with her family right now. She said she's fine. She's not fridged yet. It's later. She starts in the freezer. Who's Flora, right? Um, man, I can't wait for the new one, New World of Steam. Because clearly Flora did not go with Layton to America. So they just, it's fine. It's fine. They're gonna be like, oh, she's in school, I think. I don't know. Uh, War Themes is here, thanks for 22 months. Luke, this reminds me of a puzzle. Is the answer three, Professor? Well done, Luke. You get 22 pick rats. Welcome back, Azir. Uh, Smash Brothers, thanks for bits. Letting everyone here know that all the eShop exclusive Ace 3 games 3DS are on sale for $3 each. That's the trilogy, Apollo Justice, Duels Destiny's Two to Justice, six games for $12. Yeah, I, I, I wasn't sure if I was gonna buy all those. Because I plan on playing the first Ace Attorney on, like, a port on, like, the Switch or PC or something. Um, I know that there's 3DS exclusive games in that franchise, but I was like, I don't know, I haven't played any of them, so I don't know if I want them or not. And it's hard to justify spending a ton of money. But when they're on sale for three bucks a pop, even if I never play them, it's kind of, it is a little bit just like, eh, uh, shit. I might, I might, I might grab them. Uh, Mjorganovich, thanks for four months. Hi, very chat. I'm a VOD enjoyer. been really enjoying the MGS playthroughs. Boyfriend ending is phenomenal. Love you all. Thank you. I definitely plan to get back to MGS soon. Um, soon TM. Because I adore that franchise, and we started streaming them late? Two, uh, late 2021? 20, yeah, it was when I started MGS1, I think. Um, so, so MGS3, soon TM. 
I delayed it because of reasons, and I'm coming back to it because I, I, it's fine. Maybe. I hope. It's okay. Um, Barry Dingle, thank you for 100 bits. Space talking about six for five bucks. I'll have to dip because I've never played this late before. Luckily, I got it on my 3DS, so I'll be back when I finished it in three months. Good luck, Professor. Thank you. In Dual Destinies, your client is a whale. Maybe I need to play more of that franchise. That's, that's kind of, yeah. What a thr Thank you, JD. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Space. Hope you enjoy when you get to it. Mon Decay, thanks for soup. This soup reminds me of a puzzle. Raven Penguin, thanks for 60 months, five years. That's almost two whole years. You're not wrong. You are wrong, but you're not. Thank you. Enjoy your Kiwi Key. My best toast. Thank you for 40 months. Professor, check out, check this out. Rat Jam. My God, Luke, you've become a rat. The Soup, thanks for six months. Enjoy your Golden Key. Bar Thunk. Uh, Alex Mills, 151, thanks for 23 months. Almost two years, holy moly, thank you. Ame Obake, thanks for 20 months. I've gone and done a name change, was Thick Room before. That makes it uh, a little more outside the context of comp Pokemon. That was a competitive Pokemon reference? I just want to let you all know and hope y'all are having a normal one. In a good way, of course. A normal good one. A good normal one. Thank you. And thanks for letting me know you changed your name. You don't have to, chat, but it helps me because sometimes people resub and it's like, oh, this person's resubbed for like five years. And I'm like, I don't, I don't know who this is. Am I a terrible streamer? <laughs> who are you? Who are you? Yeah, I've read your name dozens of times and I've never seen this before. Oh my God. And it's like, I changed my name. And I'm like, thank God. Oh fuck. Like I'm not perfect, of course, but I appreciate it. Thank you. You've poisoned my lexicon. Lip flaps are now MEPs. It's great to use to match up lip flaps to saying MEP MEP while timing things out. You're welcome, reprogram. I lost my name to a wizard. Hey, game. Any, any luck with that wizard, then? I didn't change my name. Thank you, Toast. What if all of the Toasts got together and, like, changed their names to each other's names? I don't think I would notice. <laughs> I mean, you have to wait. It takes like a couple months for someone to grab someone else's name after they abandon it, but that would that would be that'd be great. Anyway, Nuclear Sunset, thanks for 69 bits. This reminds me of a poop. And Axe Lobo Galen, thank you for almost three years, 35 months, almost three years. Holy shit! Anyways, cheers, Barrel and Chat. Gonna get an early dinner. Hell yeah, transgender pride. Fuck yeah, thank you. Hope you have a good dinner. And Olivia, thank you for 47 months. It's your too. I saw the announcement on Discord and came here at the speed of Peem Beeman. Well, if you're here to beam your peem, you are in luck. Because this is the beamiest, peemiest zone on Twitch.com. Um, I changed my name for a draw feed joke. I can change it in two weeks. <laughs> that That is always the, like... I don't have it in my chat, but a lot of a lot of friends of mine have butt spot. And there's a lot of people that change their name to have butt in the name, in their name, because butt spot called them that. And then there, like half of them never changed it back. The Julian Apocalypse from 2018? Yeah. Yeah. Long time ago. Anyway. Uh, beam Beam Zone Act 3. Dibba 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 dibba. From R. I listen. Thank you for updating your name for my dumb brain. <laughs> I know you've corrected me before. But, uh, thanks. I just, you know. Midnight Side Guys, thanks for 10 months. Hi, welcome. Gamble with Boba Fett Starship. <laughs> Gam's butt bot says give Boba Fett starship now. Um, anyway. Welcome to Professor Layton and the Miracle Mask. New game. Put me in coach. Uh, what is my name? Um. Pumzel. It's Pumzel. Layton! Who are you? Who am I? That what a question. Pooba rat. Uh, how about? Eh, eh. Done. Mighty Q. Thank you for thirty-four months. Welcome back. Stay hydrated. Remember, you're doing great. Hey, so are you. Thank you. Whoa. Thank you. Wow! 
So this is Monte Dor. Indeed. In only 18 years, this little desert oasis has grown into quite a tourist attraction. Amazing, don't you think? Yes, it is. Some people even call it the City of Miracles. The City of Miracles. Miracles. It's already a mystery. <laughs> Well, that was quick. Uh, the Miracle of Monte d'Or. Monte d'Or is well known because it started out as an oasis with one small inn and expanded into a large and prosperous city in the space of just 18 years. How could such a city develop so fast? I mean, there's, there's cities now that didn't exist like five years ago. Monte d'Or is quite impressive, especially considering that Henry built it from nothing. Henry? Well, all right then. Hmm. Is... When I was a young boy, my professor. Oh no! There's so much to look at here, Professor. Oh no no no! no. Yes, I've heard that Monte is quite oh, what an exciting. Oh god! Town. Oh god! Oh Jesus! The letter Jesus. you received said some <laughs> terrible things happened here. That's hard to believe. Hmm. What they do to my boy? We'll have a better understanding of the situation after we speak to Angela. The ghost be oh god. We should be able to see her estate just past the street. Now imagine viewing this in stereoscopic 3D and being jump scared by that. Oh Jesus. Oh fuck. I I you know earlier I was like, man, I remember I remember detesting the 3D models. But maybe they're not so bad. In <laughs> the first frame, like if I had a heart rate monitor. You would have seen it spike. <laughs> if I had a smartwatch, you'd be like, you need to lie down. Are you okay? <laughs> Go back! I want the 2D, I miss it. The city's like one big amusement park. Twitch does not like that. Does not like what? Oh, you're upside down. T oh, God. Why did you upside down text? I had the Switch models in my hand, I forgot about these. Yeah, no, looking at the, the trailer for the new one, I'm like, yeah, that looks, that looks pretty good. I mean, hopefully the if it's not in-game, the in-game models look good. The, this is... Enjoy looking at this for the next 100 hours of Layton. It certainly is a lively town. How could anything bad happen in a place so bright and colorful, Professor? Never judge a book by its cover, Luke. He's got to turn to look at the camera. Hi. Yeah. No, okay. Only a thorough analysis will reveal a thorough conclusion. Hi, Spooky. How you doing? Right as usual, Professor. Let the investigation commence. I believe the 3D is better for Asrin Legacy. I don't remember. But this one's definitely something. I admire that spirit, Luke. But Monte d'Or is a unique town. Before we begin, we need to take a moment to examine our methods. I'm all ears, Professor. Very good. To search an area, tap the investigation icon in the top corner of the touchscreen to enter investigation mode. Then use the magnifying glass that appears to explore the area on the top screen. To move the magnifying glass, simply slide the stylus along the touchscreen as if you were drawing a line. When the magnifying glass turns orange, that means you found a point of interest. So they, they, they made it more complicated because they wanted the widescreen to have all the good art. So this is their solution where, like, you're not just tapping on the touchscreen anymore. When you discover one of these points of interest, give the touchscreen another tap to take a closer look. With a simple tap, you'll quickly hone your investigative skills. Oh man, there's parallax. Okay, so tap the investigation icon, slide around the touchscreen to start, tap the touchscreen again. Go Golly, Professor. This is more steps than just tap. Let's give it a try. Is there anything here that needs a closer look? Do you have to find a thing to be allowed to tap it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Investigate. Whoa, wow. See, now this is when the stereoscopic 3D is pretty cool. Because you got all, all, all that parallax. Like, whoa. Yeah, so if there's nothing there. Yeah, tapping doesn't do anything. If we get separated, let's meet under the big top. Those flags are fluttering. Oops. It's gone. Forever. My poor eyes aren't yet accustomed to all these streetlights. But it looks great in 3D. Yeah, I remember being kind of neat. 
It's bright, so it should be safe at night, right? Yeah, well, you know. It doesn't mess up the stream. Try cranking up the 3D on the 2D animated cutscenes for some more, more from Parallax. So I'm playing on a 2DS, which physically does not have the 3D slider. So I can't do the, like, shenanigans. But did the 2D animated cutscenes have 3D? I don't remember that. If so, that's wild. That's nonsense. Anyway, uh... Oh, oh. Yeah. Summer 2D, Summer 3D. Ooh. They've managed to fix a few lamps up there. Interesting architecture. Golly, Professor. It makes my eyes go funny if I stare at it too long. I'd advise against doing that, Luke. Uh, these people. It looks like it's sparkling. A shower cleanses the body, a fountain cleanses the soul. The guy hanging on the balloons is 3D, but the balloons are 2D. Correct. That seems to be the case. Yeah, there's like a, like a mishmash of art in this game. That's also maybe part of why I feel like it's not as cohesive. Maybe Iris Rim Legacy is better. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, the, 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 the DS games all have a very solid art style. And this one pushed things to 3D to mixed results. But, you know, I respect that they didn't want there to be 2D cutouts in a 3D world, if that's what they were trying to do. But... I don't know. It's fun. This place smells really good. Luke, no, we don't have time to stop. Sir? Conspicuous gentleman? Now those balloons appear to be 3D. I don't know. Uh, uh, hello there. Hey, welcome to uh, Monte... Uh, Monte... That clown certainly has a lot of balloons, Professor. Or do the balloons have him? I'm not a clown! He does look a bit tied up at the moment. Perhaps we could offer some assistance. Hello. Come to the uh, circus. Clowns, animals, lots of fun. Can we be of some help, sir? Oh, don't mind me. I just uh, need to release these balloons into the air for the children, you know, for the kids. If I don't get these balloons into the air, I'll never earn my clown nose. Oh, where are my manners? Uh, I've stumbled. Forgive me for not shaking your hand. Don't think me rude. Perhaps you could help me here if you're not in too much of a hurry. Yeah, it's a slick transition. Whoa. Puzzle. Frog detective. Oh, hell yeah. Stumbles balloons. This is worth 20 pickle rats. This clumsy clown has gotten caught up in his balloon strings. Give Luke and Layton a hand in untangling the strings. Touch any of the orange points on the touch screen to swap the strings around that point. Things can get pretty tricky, but keep at it, he can free poor stumble. You can entangle all four strings in as few as three moves. Tap on the things and find them, yeah. Hey, so pants strings become tangled straight and other things, yeah. Alright. Um. Question. I mean, maybe it depends on the puzzle, but do, do y'all want me to do this when it's puzzle time? So, so the touch screen is, is big? Is that better? Probably, because I don't think that's... Yeah? Okay. Yeah, you got it. Yell at me when I forget to. Uh, untangle them. Um, what about like that? What about like that? And then what about like, um, there. Yeah. I believe I have this one. Oh. Oh, Jesus Christ. He's An pointing through the screen puzzle. in stereoscopic 3D. You freed the balloons and stumble. Now the balloons can be released sky high into the well, sky. Picarets are points that indicate a puzzle's difficulty. The more picarets a puzzle's worth, the tougher it is. When you submit an incorrect answer for a puzzle, the number of picarets you get in from the puzzle decreases, so think carefully before answering. Once you be in the game and save, go to the bonuses section and load your game file from there. You can enter the top secret area where a number of fun extras are waiting for you. The more picarets you're in, the more content you unlock. Hell yeah. Puzzle one. Woo, what a relief. Thank you for that. Oh, yeah. Delicious. No need to thank us. Stumble, helping someone in need is its own reward. Sounds like you just got into town. Well, I hope you enjoy your time in Monte de Or. Just be sure to always stay on your toes.
This is fantastic! Everyone is having such a good time, Professor! Look at them go! They are. And I'm looking forward to doing the same after our investigation. Oh, right. The investigation. Once we're able to relax, <laughs> we'll see what the town has to offer. He stops skipping. What? Oh. Professor, what was that? Looks like one piece. It is one piece. Stone. Quickly. He's running. Oh god. Oh god. Probably swamp gas. Ah! Hey, I'm trying to escape here. Get out of the way, will you? Forgot how many clowns are in this game. Please, sir, try to remain calm. Calm? Are you blind? Those people have been turned to stone. How is that possible? A very good question, Luke. Professor, look up there. What on earth? One, two, three, four. Did you miss me, Montador? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome! Huh? I huh? hope you enjoyed tonight's dark miracle. Courtesy of the masked gentleman. Consider what you have seen tonight as a warning. Montador will soon be destroyed. Those who submit to the power of the mask may be spared. But then again, they may not. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <sighs> Professor, hmm? Luke, <gasps> what are you waiting for? Ah, a written invitation? Oh my god, it's MGS5. Oh my god. Of course. Wait, Professor! There's something wrong with it. <laughs> Let's go. Everyone follow me. Right. Hey, wait for me. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it, all stuff. Bestest Luke. Oh. Follow the mass German. Is this Rhythm Thief now? Chase down the masked gentleman as he flies through the town. Slide your stylus on the touchscreen in short, quick motions to move your horse left to right. Avoid the barrel! <laughs> Donkey Kong snapping in there. Picking up carrots will give your horse a burst of speed, allowing you to smash through the barrels for a short amount of time. I love puzzles. Follow the masked gentleman. I love puzzles so much. This is a good puzzle. Here we go. Uh, all right. Here we go. Yahoo! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go. Oh, I missed the carrot. Shit. Yeah, get get the carrot. The fuck. Yeah, yeah. carrot. Yeah. Whoa. Ow. Uh huh. Where is he going? Don't know. Am I gaining on them? God damn it! Okay. Yeah. Wow. That's the way. Yeah. Fuck him up. Start shooting at him. Yeah. Good work. Yeah. Wow. Almost. This reminds me of a puzzle. Yeah. Good work. 
Yeah. Wait, wait, shit. This way. That's the way. Am I gaining on him? Maybe. Oh shit. You fire lasers at me? It's nice how the music just seamlessly transitions over the cutscene. Look at Luke! <laughs> there you go. Huh? Look out! Whoa there! <sighs> I almost got him, Professor! <gasps> Okay, in 3D. Yes, he had quite an advantage over us. I suppose we can assume that was the masked gentleman. Mm hmm. Was he using some sort of magic, Professor? How did he do all that? Based off of all of our adventures together, Luke. Yes, the answer is magic. It's inexplainable. Well done. Job's done. Luke, I can honestly say, I don't know. I don't know. And he's not a cylinder. Yeah, it does help. Mystery! My god. A number of people were turned to stone during the parade in Carnival Square. Some members of the crowd claimed to witness the petrification as it occurred. Was this really some sort of miraculous act? The crowds deserted Carnival Square, leaving behind some stone statues that must have been living people only moments before. I think. Of course. Magic seemed oh. to be the only thing that could explain what we had seen. It disturbed me to see the professor at such a loss. It made me wish he never received that strange letter in the first place. He's just a big fan of the default Twitch smiley is all. No crime in that. That's my old save. From ten years ago. I did every puzzle. I did every puzzle. Or every one of them. Uh, there we go. Me? Whoa. Chapter one. The Mask of Chaos. This is just JoJo now, isn't it? My God. Oh, he thinks he can read. Professor, do you know someone named Angela Lador? Angela? Yes, of course. Sounds like the sap to a joke. That name? It was on the letter. A letter? Look at that Let carving at the very up. top middle. Is that Leighton if he was a house? What is that? Oh. Angela. Angelie's nuts. <laughs> all these years. Here you are. Thank you very much, Luke. Oh, I'll try reading. Very strange. What is it, Professor? Professor? The Mask of Chaos. God, him just staring into my soul. With his beady little eyes. Like a doll's eyes. Dearest Herschel. I trust this letter finds you well. I have read wonderful things about your work, Herschel. Or rather, Professor Layton. It's difficult to believe it has been nearly 18 years. Since this game came out. I'm sure this letter comes as quite a surprise, but I must ask for your help. Dearest Herschel, among us. We have experienced a series of terrifying incidents here in Monte Dor. I must be cursed by the Mask of Chaos, for it is now threatening to destroy our city. I hope you can forgive me after all these years. I don't know who else I can turn to. I cannot give you the full details now. However, if you can spare the time, I shall tell you all upon your arrival. Does sound like Laura Bailey. We are in desperate need of your help, Herschel. I've enclosed the address for the Lador estate. I hope to see you soon, Angela Lador. 
Knock, knock, who's there? Angela Lador. That's what I'm doing. The Mosque of Chaos? What is that? Good. What is that? What is this, Rohalimus? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> this is spoilers for the next Layton game. Sorry, normally I don't like to share spoilers, but it's important to know what's coming up so you can prepare yourself emotionally. Man, what, what a fucking... What do you think they're talking about? Everyone is here. New Fortnite Battle Pass looks dope. Yep. 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 Haru chosen over Joker. There's something wrong with that? Haru has the best tea party, see? The Mask of Chaos, what's that? Donald Rutledge wrote about it in his book, Ancient Histories. According to legend, the mask bestows great power upon whoever wears it. She needed screen time because she didn't get any in Persona 5. Bam. Yes, the allure of omnipotence is as old as mankind itself. You seem to know quite a bit about the mask, Emmy. Well, I have taken a few courses here and there. Thought he was crunchy. Yeah, he's a little crunchy. I see. I think there's a lot of dialogue in this game. They probably just compressed the fuck out of it to get it to fit on the cartridge. Did I leave something out, Professor? But that's part of the charm. <laughs> Maybe. No, no. You're absolutely correct. Oh, they move, Kekat. They're 3D now. So this Mask of Chaos is well known in the world of archaeology? Oh, yes. Among researchers, it's quite a popular topic. They blink at the same time? The UK. I've heard the UK Luke before. I, I'm more partial to the one from this Luke, but... They're, go they're gonna recast Luke for the new game, and it makes me sad. But... They do seem... To blink around the same time. They blink when you blink. Yeah. Oh, they are synchronized blink. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> who, 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 who's... I didn't notice that. Someone in chat pointed it out. Blinkronized sinking. Yeah. Oh, God. Well, let's ignore that for the rest of the game. Among Us, it's quite a popular topic. So, what would it mean to be cursed by the Mask of Chaos? It's difficult to say. Angela certainly wasn't very forthcoming in her letter. What is your relationship with Angela, Professor? Is she one of Professor Layton's lost loves? Ooh, give us the juice! Hardly. I've known Angela since my school days. Oh. Our relationship was... complicated. No. Oh. <laughs> Layton, you slut! <laughs> Dish all the deets, girl! Oh, God. Well... Well, a true gentleman could never refuse a request to help an old friend. Right, Professor? Right? Layton, you whore, give me the deets. I'll put on a te I'll, I'll put on the kettle. Why, yes, Luke. I suppose you're correct there. Oh, fuck. Luke just trapped him in a the, the puzzle of his own making. You taught me how to be a gentleman, so we have to help her. Right, Professor? In the letter. She refers to a series of <clears throat> terrifying incidents. What do you think she means by that, Professor? The sly face for Emmy is very good. This is a very good face. Entrapment. I can't say for certain, but I know how we can find out. Remy. Remy the rat! Okay, all right. <clears throat> nice. Thank you. Emo when. Uh, the Twitch smile face. It said the Mask of Chaos grants magical powers to whoever wears it. Could this power be behind the masked gentleman's acts? The Mask of Chaos is an extremely popular topic in the archaeological world. There it is. Infinite power. Infinite power. Uh, I'm gonna take this very quick moment to get caught up on alerts. Thank you very much. Uh, to, uh, Dash the Rabbit gifted a sub to Gazbo Dash the Rabbit themselves with 100 bits. Pneumatic Meat gave me a sub, so time to pay it forward. Thank you. Spooky. Thank you for five years. Holy hell. Spooky. Hope you're doing good. Enjoy your Kiwi Key. Taco B. Jones, thanks for six months. Enjoy your Golden Key. Miracle Mass is my first Layton game. Hell yeah. Charlene Freeze with 16 months said, Upside down, is this sub a miracle? 
lightweight Leighton in Vegas, also high barreled. I think that's what it said. That's a lot. I that's what I'm saying, Spooky. Thank you. Hope you're doing good. Icky and Echo, thanks for a year. We built this city. We built this city on mountain gold. Monte de Or sounds fancier. Thank you. Enjoy your mildly curse skeleton key. Dingy, thanks for 30 months. Enjoy your outhouse key. Spooky gift to the sub to JD the disaster. Thank you. Cave. With 69 bits. When you get close enough, shoot him with the professor's gun. Screaming Flamingo, thanks for 20 months. And Cave. They solve puzzles with benefits. Oh. That explains a lot. Meanwhile, how were these people turned to stone? This must have been what Miss Angela was referring to in her letter. Yes, we need to find out how long this has been going on. Did you discover anything of note, Emmy? Yes, according to the witness I spoke with, the masked gentleman first appeared about a month ago. Since then, he has created several disturbances throughout town with these dark miracles of his. What reasons could he have for doing such awful things to these people? Have you heard anything about the police? Have they procured any leads? Apparently, they have a few, but it sounds like they're still clueless about the identity of the masked gentleman. Word is, their investigation's at a standstill. The police have no suspect, no motive, and no explanation. I see. Very well, I'd like to take a closer look at the scene here before we move on. Oh my god. They have become stone. I turned to stone. A year ago, I turned to stone. Professor, these people, how could this have happened? Those statues, that could have been us. Let me take a few photos for evidence. Oh, she's on the case. It's difficult to say what we may encounter here. Let's be sure to keep our eyes and ears open. Always, Professor. I think I see someone who may be able to help us here, Professor. Look over there. I'm gonna look at this again. Solid stone. Will they ever turn back to normal? If I get turned to stone, don't make me into a garden gnome, please. Who? It's scientifically impossible, and yet here they are. It's medically possible. Uh, what the hell are you doing here? They must have been petrified before they were petrified. Too soon, Emmy. God. Is it safe to carry on our investigation? We must press on if we want to uncover the truth. <laughs> These statues give me the chills. You'd have to have a heart of stone not to be disturbed by this. Too soon, Emmy, come on. This was no miracle, it was a nightmare for all those involved. I thought I was talking to this person over here. With the very... Jittery... Situation. They're jamming. Uh... I'm not talking to you, sir. Oh, I have to. Shit. Does that sign say tuba? Yeah. Tuba? With a question mark. Ah, once again, destiny makes us cling like a sweaty shirt to bare skin on a hot carnival night. Welcome to Monte Dor, my friends. Thank you. Yes, I believe we've met before. You are Aldous, correct? The one and only. Happy to see you looking so robust. Are you on holiday as well? How oddly sublime we would meet here. I was just watching the parade with a heart full of joy and a mouth full of laughs. What did you just do to your hair? When I was nearly turned to stone. But enough of this idle geological chatter. Perhaps I will share with you a special something about Monte Dior. We would appreciate any information you could share with us. You see, I prepared a wooden box in the area. You should search this area with your stylus. Search now, search! It would amuse me. Um. Uh. Um. I don't see any wooden boxes. My young boy, please, take a breath that is deep and think much of relaxing candy. Relaxing candy? Of course you did not find my box. Could you clarify your meaning, Aldous? I believe I can. See, before you could only investigate, but now you may zoom. Zoom? What do you mean by that? As you search with a magnifying glass, let it flash with a blue light. That, my friends, is a zoom point. 
When you find a zoom point, tap the touch screen just as you would with any point of interest. Do not let me down, zoom! Where can I zoom? Oh, 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 oh. Z oh! 3D boah. Wow, a hit in box! You have filled my heart with much pride, my little friend. See, in this way, you can look for many sorts of hidden things. This is good. Let me make a note of it. Go! It is as the old saying goes, a box found but not searched is a box not found. Okay. Yeah. I got a hint coin. Aha! A hint coin. If you find a puzzle you cannot solve and you need a hint, these shall become your best friends. But beware, there are a limited number of hint coins in Monte d'Or. Use them wisely, or expect the tears to meet your cheeks. Hint coins are hidden throughout the town, so if you see something sus, simply slide, tap, and sometimes zoom. Be sure to zoom as often as you can. Do not waste the power of the zoom. Once finished, simply tap zoom out on the touchscreen. Now I've sacrificed an excess of my holiday helping you, so I must bid you... Adieu. He's a bit of a strange gentleman, isn't he? Perhaps he is, Luke. Perhaps he is. Well, he gave us some good information regardless. Zooming will certainly help our investigation. Good. He's the villain, 100%. No spoilers, but also, he's the villain. Tap anything sus. Yay. Professor, let's head over to that tent. Maybe we'll find something there. That may not be a bad idea, Luke. A full investigation of this town is going to be quite a task. Well, we'd better get started straight away. Absolutely, Luke. Let's just quickly establish how to go about exploring the city. Right, I almost forgot about that, Professor. A tab back to map with the touch screen. This will take you from investigation mode to the main map. From there, we can move to the locations that are highlighted orange. Simply tap a location to move there. That's much nice. I prefer that to the previous games where you have to find, like, arrows on the... You tap, like, I want to walk, and then you tap the arrows. Just makes it tedious when you're trying to backtrack or get somewhere quickly. An overworld map is just a lot quicker. The person they pointed out? No, it's fine. Quite simple, don't you think? Indeed. I think I've got it. Tap back to map and tap back where we want to go next, yeah. Exactly. Now then, Luke, let's head for that tent. Remember, effective footwork is key to any successful investigation. Yeah. Nyom. Oh, Professor, how should we go about keeping a record of our investigation? Ah, yes. Let's quickly go over that. Tap the trunk on the touch screen. From there, you can tap save to record your progress up to that point. Why is there a big clown? That's the famous big clown of Monte Dior. This is the puzzle index. Here you can view your puzzles and try your hand again at ones you've already solved. Woo! Yeah, you can also see locations of puzzles you haven't yet solved. This will help if you want to solve them later. That's nice. Mysteries and Nathan's Journal will help you keep track of everything you've learned so far. Quite convenient, really. In episodes, you'll be able to view bonus story content. When you unlock a new episode, be sure to check back to view it here. Thanks, Professor. I feel like a better apprentice already. Luke, we only listened to the Professor's explanation. You still need to master the art of actually using the trunk. Of course, Emmy. Thanks. All right, you two, let's get on with our investigation. Emmy's inquiry. Wowee. This parade float is much bigger than it seemed earlier. It doesn't look like it'll be floating again anytime soon. Clown carcass. Carcass. 15 minutes of gameplay, you got it. It must have deflated at some point during all the commotion. Do you hear that? Is somebody crying? I hear it now too, it's coming from the float! Wait, it's not the clown that's crying, is it? I certainly hope not, Luke. That would be a cause for some concern. Let's take a closer look at the float. Buh, buh, buh. 
An unforgettable shot. I must take a picture. Eh. Eh. Despite being a large city, it's absolutely nothing like London. A uh, London. It's just one long straight road. I can see right to the end. The earth is flat, Professor. The shops are packed with customers. It's so busy in there we couldn't squeeze through the door. I wish they had some shops that interested me. Lane always looks the same. He's the only constant in this crazy world. Oh, I'm going, sorry, I had to. Um, it's so vast, I feel a little lost. It's so bright, it doesn't feel like outside. It's enormous up close. I'd love to climb all the way to the top. Let me know, get down. There's an odd noise coming from this place. Tourists love their karaoke, Luke. The bustle from the shop seems to spill out onto the street. Good. Well. Thank you, killer chair. Look at him go. Welcome back. Is it the mask's curse? Curses Luke honestly. The masked man's motives are unclear. Yeah. Gonna need all these hint coins, baby. Yeah, what you got in the clown? What's in the clown? A crying child behind the clown? Are you alright, little girl? It was a girl who was crying. Phew, thank goodness. Luke, thank goodness yourself, shorty. Well, she doesn't appear to be too broken up. What's the matter, dear? I, I don't, I can't. Use your words, sweetie. We can't understand you if you keep crying. I think she might be lost, Emmy. Let's help this little one find her way. Leave it to me, Professor. Hey there, kiddo. You lost. Where are your parents? Turn to stone? Who are you calling kiddo? I want my mommy. What? Let's do it. Let's do it. Wait, well, maybe this? I don't know. Where's mother? My mommy has red hair and a pink purse with a bear on it. The woman below her overheard saying, A, look how stylish everyone is today. B, hold on, this isn't my purse. C, I'm actually a man. D, my purse is a blue one. E, hmm, this bag isn't mine. It has the wrong pattern. Which one's the girl's mother? Uh... Three. Everyone in chat say three. Three. Slide the stylus touch screen and move the finger icon on the top screen. You can tap the other social screen and mark that as the answer. Is this Hitman Freelancer mode? Three. How's this for an answer? Can we count to three? No. No, we cannot. Where is mother? Who's still showing us today? Oh, this is my purse. This is my my purse is a blue one. This bag is mine has the wrong pattern. Uh, B. B is like three, because it rhymes. Let me have a shot. I got it. No problem. It's in the bag. Thank goodness the little girl found her mother. But everyone chat was saying three. Where's mother? You found her. Thanks, shorty. There you are, cookie. You have me worried sick. Thank you, young man. Just doing my duty as a gentleman. Ah, uh, gentleman, that's rich. I mean, thanks for helping me, kind sir. You're my hero. <laughs> she called me her hero. I like that. Luke, when we get home, we need to teach you what sarcasm is. Ooh, I think she likes you, Luke. Ha ha, I am inclined to agree, Emmy. Ha ha. Oh, it was nothing. Any hero would have done the same. Indeed. Well, now let's make our way to the Lador estate. Should be just up the road here. Back to the map. That's not healthy. <laughs> nope. Time me up. You got it, Danish. 07. Enjoy your time out. There's a policeman over there! Perhaps we should see if he's seen anything strange! Don't point, Luke! Good idea, Luke. Let's see if he can help. Uh... Oh. 
Man, I love the uh, environmental art of these games. Like, I, the, the 3D models, I'm a little bit 50-50 on, but the environmental art is as good as ever, if not even better, because it's more like animation and stuff. The sky is filled with lights even at night. I admire how the colors seem to meld into each other. It's beautiful and a little eerie. Eat, 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 eat. What? Huh? Huh? Cool. I wonder if they'll allow photography in the museum. It's a shame the museum's closed now. Tourists come from all over to visit this museum. Um, yeah. Um, um, yeah. Whoa. Yay. You there! Oh god. Take the shot. Okay. Yep. Yeah, well. There you go. Okay. And you as well. Oh, we have reports of another sighting of the masked gentleman. Do you know anything about this? Actually, we're gonna ask you the same thing. We pursued the masked gentleman earlier, but he escaped. So I'm already too late. Curses, I'm always too late. Always double curses. Double down. We do everything in our power. Oh, goodbye, Viz. Yet he continues to elude our grasp. How does he do it? Nice weather today, eh? I investigated the incidents of the museum, but came up empty there. Yes, I heard something about some of the paintings coming to life. Uh, what? Burying the lead there a bit. What is this? I'm sorry, Professor, in all the chaos, I forgot to mention what I heard about this very strange incident. People jumped right out of the paintings that were on display. Sure had us in a pickle. Still does. Hmm, pickles. There are people lining up for game to bop them? Okay. <laughs> we removed every last painting just to be safe. No problems with the art there since. So that's why the museum is closed? Well, it doesn't make much sense to keep an empty museum open, does it? Shame, it's located right in the heart of town. I'm a bit surprised that a city as new as Monte d'Or would even have a museum. I can't imagine that transporting valuable pieces of art all the way out here would be an easy task. You definitely learn to appreciate art when you're out in the middle of nowhere. Yes, I wonder why the masked gentleman would choose to appear somewhere so remote. Why here and with that mask? Let's continue onward to the Lador Estate, Professor. I believe we take a right here at the crossroads. Right onward. Uh, why, why are you back? Bah. More busy work. Tell Stumble to put up the posters. They're so lucky I don't have anything better to do with my time. Uh, excuse me. Someday I'll have actual stuff to do, and then I'll- Ah, don't sneak up on me like that, please. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to frighten you. We'll help you pick up your posters. Oh no, that's fine, they're all strewn about everywhere. I'll just pick them all up and- Oh my. My posters are all mixed up now! I was putting up some replacements that needed to match the originals exactly. Some of the posters are different from one another. Perhaps I could use your help. <laughs> I want to check the redeems. Why is that, Dave? You will despise this puzzle. Stumble's banners. Stumble was putting up posters in the plaza one evening when he received a terrible fright. Drink up. Oh, it was a hydrant. Thank you. It's it more helpful for me if you tell me what I missed rather than saying, just check redeems. <laughs> if I missed the hydrant, just tell me that. Sip, sip. Thank you for the sip. Uh, he received a terrible fright. Can you help him find the poster that matches the one visible on the top screen? Tap the posters on the touch screen to zoom in on them. Rotate the poster on the pole by moving the hand icon. Okay, plus rotate faster, you move the hand icon to the ends. Uh huh. So. So what's. Oh no. What's the difference here? Uh. That's all the same. That's all the same. Uh, um. Uh. Um. Everything I've checked so far is the same between all three. What about... Oh, okay, I found one difference. 
And see the trumpeteer on the left? Which I know is tiny. He's got a square hat standing up, dooting at three balloons. Which is not the case here. Everyone's wanting the timeout corner. Everyone's just spending the channel points. Hey, listen. Um. Then what's. Oh, the. The very bottom right. Here, I can memo. That's the. Whoa, there's a lot more. <laughs> this spot is different. Okay. Um. Between that and that. So, I'm looking for. If he's got a square hat. Which he does not. And what about the tail of the clown? It's this one. No, I mean, it's this one. It's B. Buff or B. Please allow me. Yay! That wasn't too bad. An assistant can solve a puzzle or two. Just only seemingly one difference between them. The tail and the large clown, the clown's balloon is different, and the trumpeter's hat is a different shape. That's it. If the differences are that small, is anyone gonna notice if they're not the same? I don't know, right? Just the tool we needed, a bucket fill. Wow, you're all really smart. Thank you. You should come to our circus sometime. We have a great show with animals jumping through flaming hoops and everything. The animals hate it. Hey, I do. That's the circus. Oh my, that sounds fun. We don't turn our animals into stone or anything. However, it's still very exciting. It's odd. Even with these strange incidents happening around town, our circus is more popular than ever. Can we go to the circus, Professor? That would be a splendid way to treat ourselves once we've solved this case. Of course, that's what I meant. Poor Luke, he just wants to be a kid. I wish this masked gentleman would at least make himself useful. I still have all these posters to put up. To the Lador Estate. But first, the Lador Estate should be down the street just past this quaint shop here. It's so nice to finally find a peace flare in this town. Closed! We'll have to wait till morning then. I suspect the staff wants to take part in the carnival too. That man has a wave breaker for a nose. Yeah, he does. Closed shutters make me sad for some reason. <laughs> he's, this portrait, he's smiling. It makes me sad. Stop smiling, Luke. What? Whoa! Whoever designed this toy car was no amateur. It's beautifully handcrafted. Toy cars are all right, but I much prefer cuddly toys. You can't really hug a car. I do like car puzzles, though. Beep, beep. You know any puzzles about cars, Professor? Hold on, Luke. I've got a puzzle I've been meaning to give you. Beep, beep, toot, toot, Professor. Tell me a puzzle about race cars, Professor. Bumper perspective. I had a cuddly toy car when I was a kid. Boom. The photograph shown above was taken while a group of friends were driving bumper cars. The person who took the photo was driving a white bumper car while facing forward. Where was she sitting when she took the photo? Circle the correct white bumper car. Oh. I like that they say that they were facing forward, because it could be like, oh, they were in that white car looking to the side. Thank God. Okay. So there's, there's red, and then there's a green hitting the red, and there's yellow next to the green. Um. The, uh. Bum. Is it this one? Looking, looking here. I think so. Let's go, yeah. Let's go, yeah. Let me have a shot. I brought it. No problem. Sweet. The background has no cars. Fair point. Those are my favorite kind of puzzles. They're kind of like hidden objects, but they require more critical thing. I mean, it's 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 simple, right? But it's more than just like, where is the broom in the picture? It's like you gotta you gotta think about it. Well, use your brain a little bit. 
It's better than the sliding block puzzle. It was the bumper car circled above. Not a bad photo, eh? Now to decide where it goes on the wall. Hey, Dan. How you doing, Dan? How is Mario 64 going? Well done. Your puzzle skills just need a spark, a spark to ignite them. As the professor's apprentice, I vow to never avoid an oncoming challenge. I'm glad to have such driven peers. <laughs> oh, Layton. Didn't know you had a sense of humor. What? Why is everyone laughing? Did I say something funny? Look at these, Luke. Aren't they cute? Cuddly toys are meant to be cute. <laughs> yeah? What can I say? It's a novel design. Yeah. Luke's like? Luke's like. Whoa. Oh. I got bears, I got trucks, dolls, robots, everything. You want it? Guys got it. Oh, wow. Those toys are so cute. Which would you say is your favorite, Luke? Uh, I guess the bear's kind of nice. If I was still into that kind of thing, which I most certainly am. I knew you'd like the cuddly one. I like that robot myself. Excuse me, sir. This man is a Pokemon. I got dollhouses, little tea settings. It's all very good. Good. What? Is there something in my teeth? A g g goddess. A goddess fell from the sky and landed outside my shop. Oh. Where? I've been saving this puzzle for a woman with chestnut hair and an acorn face. Please take a look. Is he just looking at the tree behind us? Mmm, robot factory. My nipples are here and here. This robot comes in four parts, head, body, arms, and legs. To put the parts together, just put each part into one of the four yellow boxes and flip the switch. Unfortunately, it's unclear which order they'll be assembled in or how they'll be arranged. Can you put the robot back together correctly? You can rotate the parts as well as move them. While the parts are in place, touch submit to start the assembly machinery. Okay. Okay. Sure. Just, uh, go. Perfect. This is my beautiful robot. So, uh, 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 so then this, and then, um, uh, and then, and then, I already forgot. I already forgot. There we go. Done. Oh, right. Okay. That needs to be upside down for the, wait. Where the head was needs to be this upside down. And the legs are good, and I don't remember what this and this are. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> he looks good. Wait, 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 what if, uh, was it, wait, was it this way? Can I make the robot do a yippers? No, that's upside down. Shit. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, that was the right way. That turn him, turn him, turn him. Show me an excited robot, computer. Woo, yeah, woo, yeah. <laughs> He's a happy little robot. All right, all right, fine. All right, fine. This is a serious business robot for doing your taxes. Okay, here we go. Yeah. That was no match for my wits. Correct. Oh my god. Oh, whoa. Now he's fully assembled and ready to be played with. Holy shit. Let him go. That would be terrifying with stereoscopic 3D. Whew. That is so 3D. It's just wow, <laughs> wow. Every single thing in the game. I mean, this game uh, uh, did come out relatively early on the 3DS. So, every game needed to do shenanigans with 3D. Stunning! Brains that match the beauty. I would never insult a goddess by charging for my wares. Allow me to offer this robot to you as a gift. 
Please take him on your adventures. He's a brave one. He is humble, loyal, and a bit of a romantic as well. I will not take no for an answer. Wow, I'm speechless. Thank you. Robot has been added to the trunk. You got a new stage for your toy robot, Abandoned Lab. Guy gave you a toy robot. Robot has been added to the professor's trunk. Guide the robot to the goal at the end of each level. I realize you must go. Just know that as when a stone skips across a pond, you shall always ripple through my heart. Yeah, well, this was weird but sweet. Thanks for the robot. Of course, if you return, please grace my shop with your presence. I'm just a servant to your masterful beauty. Alright, okay. Man. Show me this robot. Guide your toy robot around the hazardous course to reach the goal. Touch the old arrows to make the robot move up, down, left, or right. The robot moves three steps at a time. You can't stop it once it gets going. Oh, that's a walk cycle. Nor can you make the robot change its direction mid-stride. However, if the robot bumps into a wall or a block, that will stop it in its tracks. Some stages include conveyor belts. They look like they're not in operation. But if your robot lands on a belt... Mike Rye. Wee! So I activate the conveyor belt. Yeah. This is an enemy mouse. This deadly foe only moves when your robot does. Don't let your robot bump into one of these. If that happens, it's all over. Who? Oh no, the robot is trapped. Or is it? The mice will move at exactly the same time as the robot, so it's okay. Now take a look at the gauge on the right-hand side of the touch screen. This decreases every time the robot moves. Your robot can move up to 30 times. Grab the golden wind-up key to power up your robot. Let's try it and see. Now your robot will smash anything in its path. Only a solid wall can stop it. Holy shit. My god. He died. Red panel's your goal. Whoops, it passed the goal. To complete the stage, your robot must land on the goal. See so you find a way to make the robot move the necessary number of steps. And that's it. It was a perilous journey, but your robot got there in the end. It'll unlock more stages as you progress the main game. If you clear every stage, you'll get something fun as a prize. It's more puzzles, isn't it? It's always more puzzles. Look at cute little world map. Um, go. Land right on the goal. Mm-hmm. And then, um, and then do that. And then we're gonna, we're gonna do this. And then we're gonna do this. And then, um, and then, uh, that, that might not have been correct. Oh my god, he's dead. But I love puzzles. I love puzzles. Puzzles are their own reward, and also the best reward. Oh wait. I'm just meant to do it like this. What a weirdly melancholic robot jam. Finish! Love that robot. It's a good robot. Anyway. Maybe we should check out the little Emmy story while we're here. But the Emmy doing... I should catch up with the professor and Luke, but I'd like to get a little more information first. There are so many people here. Maybe I should ask around a bit. But who should I start with? Hmm. That boy there looks fairly sharp or bored. Either way, maybe you can help me. Pardon me, do you have a moment? I'm sorry, you talking to me? Yes, can I ask you a few questions about your fantastic golden pants? Regardless of what I say, I have a feeling you're gonna ask anyway. Have you heard anything about the masked gentleman? Do I look like I live under a rock? He has built quite a reputation with the paintings, turning people into horses. 
What? Love the spontaneous combustion bit. What? Did you see any of these events? No. Sorry, I got nothing. There have to be dozens of witnesses around here, though. You shouldn't have too much trouble. Yes, you're probably right. Look around for tourists. If they were at the parade, they might have seen something. Or ask a police officer. Anyway, I want to catch the rest of tonight's festivities, so I'd better run. Well, casually saunter, at least. Spontaneous combustion? Turning people into horses? Bizarre. That sounds a bit hard to swallow. I'll need more information before passing this on to the professor! This young lady certainly looks excited. Maybe she saw something. Excuse him. What? Oh, hello! Can I help you? Whoa! Hey! Well, I'm trying to gather details about the recent events. Have you witnessed anything strange around here lately? Do you mean the masked gentleman? Oh, he's fantastic. I've never seen anything like him. Did you see the spontaneous combustion incident? No, I was so upset I missed it. I ran all the way across town to see it, but I was too late. I heard it was absolutely breathtaking. The event of the year and performed with an exquisite, sophisticated grace. So you've seen the masked gentleman? Not actually in person, no. But that's the thing about great artists. You don't need to actually see them to feel them. Oh, ooh, can you hear that? People are frolicking. Maybe the masked gentleman will make an appearance tonight. Of course, thanks for your help. I better go find the professor and Luke. Maybe they have a better idea of what's really going on here. I like to think of the horses that we rode to chase after the gentleman. Used to be people. Because apparently people turn into horses. Yeah, it was amazing and really cool. So this is where all the houses are. It's much calmer here in the residential district. I can actually hear my ears ringing now. Yes, Montedoro's main district is lively, but I doubt many people actually live there. If nobody lives in the main district, where does everybody sleep? With all the attractions, I don't know how often people are actually sleeping. Hold it right there, yous. What you sneaking round here for? We're headed to Angela the Door's estate. Could you be kind enough to point us in the right direction? I could. I could also be kind enough to see that you address Mrs. Lador with a bit more respect there, Top Hat. What kind of trouble you hiding under that chimney on top of your head there anyways? A mask, maybe? No, no, down boy, you're bordering on creating a scene, and a most unappealing one at that. And no need to resort to violence, unless you think we could actually get away with it. Oh, just kidding, sort of, mostly. If you have a dispute to settle, perhaps you could use an elegant mind to craft an elegant solution. It is Mac, tonight. All right, like what's elegant then? When resolving a conflict, a gentleman always prefers the elegant solution. Sword fighting. Um, yeah, well, I assure you I have little interest in a gentleman's preferences. How about a battle of wits by moonlight then? This smarmy motherfucker. I have four cups. I'll place a ball in a cup. You point to the cup with the ball. Do you follow or shall I repeat that? Mm -hmm. Alright. There it is. Which one is it? I see. However, I'm not certain this one necessarily qualifies as a battle of wits. I just tapped. I mean, I knew it was three. Did it just do it for me? Leave this to me, Professor. I can get this. Oi, you can't let a kid play. You gotta take this serious. <laughs> Cute. It seems you're evenly matched now, shall we? Keep your eyes on my handsome hands. Okay, that was the tutorial of how ball cup works. Select a cup. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. What do you say? My handsome hands have done their job. Okay, fine. I can outsmart a kid. Now it's your turn, boy. Let's see here. This one. That one. What? Ah, fuck. 
They got me. But I was certain that was the one. Well, it was. Next time, spend more time watching the ball and less time checking your diapers. So is this dispute settled then? Hardly. Step aside, Luke. I'll handle this. I know my way around some balls. Of course, first a kid, now a girl. What's this world coming to? No one told me this planet had kids and girls in it. You know what? On second thought, maybe it would be best to settle this with violence. Now, now, let's all take a deep breath and just relax and focus on my fantastic fingers. Yep, yep, there it is. Correct. What do you say, my handsome, handsome, don't they jump? Winner's choice, so I'll go first, girly. Ha, my turn. It's this one again, and it's gonna be wrong again. It's that one. Fuck! Shit! Damn it! What? There's something odd about all this. Yeah, odd like the three of you sneaking around here, Ray. I'd say that's odd, and I just did. I bet the gentleman wants a shot, too. Careful, go, top hat. Or do you let the ladies and kiddies do all your dirty work? I'd be delighted to play, now that you two have clearly tipped your hand. Please don't suggest that I'm involved here in some manner. I'm only a facilitator. Yeah, Connor don't know. I mean, this facilitator guy don't know nothing about nothing. Come on, I ain't got all night. One last time, I will allow you to gaze upon my dashingly dexterous digits. Yep. What do you say, my handsome hands have done their job? So I'm gonna choose... If it's all the same, I'd like to go first. What? Well, all right, but hurry up. This, this one? This one. And I choose this one. Was I supposed to pick the first one because he keeps picking that one? Which one is it? Fuck. I was still right. Yeah, I think that's your haberdasher. Now you sneaks better be getting out of here and that's that. It looks like you folks lost fair and square. Too bad. I don't suppose you would like to have one more try? I would like to see you try your hand again, if you don't mind. Okay, well, I'm gonna guess where it is without even looking. Whoa. Watching his finger licking digits. Better men than you have lost themselves in my nimble fingers. They're so pixelated and scrumptious. Fair, there's no Ferris wheel here, pal. Dumb facilitator guy. This, this one. This one. And I choose uh, th this one. Which one is it? What? I thought I was always in the first slot. You lost again! I'm the smartest man in the world, yes. What say you, Mr. Gentleman? Oh, is he is he giving it away with his fingers? I wasn't even looking. I was following the, the, the cups. And then, um... And then it was every time it was the first one. I admire hand work, or to be precise, your finger work. <laughs> Layton's like, I understand what you're doing, but I'm also bad at it. So I'm gonna hint that I know what you're doing. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. I see. I see. I see. Okay. There's no Ferris wheel here. This one. This final answer. Oh, which one? Oh my, I did it. First try. I believe you'll let us now continue on to the Lador estate. No dice, pal. Connor, you said. Now, now, let's not make this ugly. You must leave the field of battle at once. Move along now. But I was. But you said. Oh, remember this, facilitator guy. You can be sure of that. This conflict ain't resolved, not by a long shot. You're well in victory. Do enjoy it while you can. I look forward to seeing you again sometime in the future. 
I must be on my way as well. Farewell. How did you know where the ball was? You didn't notice? Our facilitator, Connor, indicated the location of the ball with his fingies as he held his hands over the cups. I knew they were cheating. I hope we run into those slime balls again. What were they even doing here? Do they work here or something? I'm sure there are all types of unsavory characters around here, Luke. We need to keep our guard up, that's for certain. I'm not sure what that was about, but I doubt they were acquaintances of Angela's. Maybe they were just out looking to con some tourists. Well, they certainly succeeded in stealing our time. Let's get to the Lelouch. <laughs> I wonder why all those boxes are there. Is someone moving? Maybe they're redoing the house. So far, it's always, can you move to look at something on the edge of the screen? Therefore, hint coin. Like, the static images of the old games were just like, you would tap around and be like, oh, that, that, that's, that stands out. Which I still think still stand out here, but it's always like, edge of the screen. Hint coin. Look, look, at, look at that parallax. Wow. Eh. The Lador Estate, it looks enormous. You mean Ladormous. How can the foliage thrive here in the desert? It's so peaceful here. Uh, let's go. What a gent- A gentleman always appreciates a good parallax, my boy. This must be the Lador Estate. After 18 years, I'm a bit nervous to see Angela again, if you can believe that. Wow, I can't even imagine 18 years. I can't imagine the number two. Professor? What comes after one? Eh. Meh. Eh. What? You're so old, Professor. What are you, 20 years old? Yes, Luke. I'm only, tw only 20. That's the gate to the Lador estate. You mean the door? No, the gate. The garden has been in great, kept in great condition. The more ostentatious the gate, the better our first impressions. They you know what they say about a gentleman? Ostentatiousness is the key to pedantry, my boy. Whoa. Those years vanished in an instant. The environment survived the transition? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they're still using, like, very painterly textures on some 3D environments and a lot of 2D stuff in the environment. But it's a really good blend for the most part. Easy. And just the wide screen of the 3DS, I think, is, is, an, is a nice upgrade. What a gorgeous mansion! Who is that up on the balcony there? Ah, yes. Angela. Is that... Angela. I knew he'd come. Is anyone hungry for cinnamon rolls? It's so wonderful to see you again, Herschel. Hello. Beep -bop, beep -bop, beep -bop. Wonderful to see you, Angela. You look lovelier than ever. Thank you so much for coming, Herschel. Of course. I left as soon as I received your letter. It was a bit vague, however. Please forgive me. I didn't know how much detail I should have gone into. You know more about the Mask of Chaos than nearly anyone, Herschel. I just didn't know who else I could trust. Oh, where are my manners? Please, won't you come inside? The nice 2D animation throws the 3D in a sharp relief. I, yeah. I think they did their best with the transition. Like, I don't want to be unfairly harsh. Just, the 2D art is so, so good. And there's some instances where it works better than others. As I've said, I'm optimistic about the upcoming new one for the Switch. That I hope it has a better 3D effect. The a balcony sandwiches and a cup of Earl Grey. The perfect scene. I can picture sunlight just streaming through here in the morning. I can picture myself sitting there gazing up at the constellations. Yeah. 
I still can't believe we're getting a new one of these. These games are so fucking goofy. And they're so tied in my mind to the DS and 3DS. It's strange. It's so lifelike. I was almost sure it would ask us for directions. Who's it supposed to be? Someone famous? Don't look at the eyes, she'll stare straight back at you. Yikes. You good. Blaine looks like he's in the wrong game compared to her. Mm hmm Yeah, some characters in this, in all the games, just like, don't look that goofy. And there's some that are just nightmarish cartoon characters standing next to each other. It's great. I wonder what kind of flowers they have. Maybe they cultivate delicious fruit in there. Some plants will need a moist environment in order to survive here. Moist. Professor? Moist. Professor, I don't like that look in your eye. Moist vegetables, Luke. Professor? Moist greenhouse. I don't... I gotta go inside, Professor. Very well. This reminds me of a puzzle. A moist puzzle. We can talk inside, please come in. I will. Ah! I'm disappointed in you, Professor. The Herschel Aiden I know would never neglect to introduce his friends. Of course, my apologies. This is... um... Introduce yourselves, why don't you? Emmy Altava, Professor's assistant. A pleasure to finally meet you, Mrs. Lador. And I'm the Professor's apprentice, Luke Triton. Or, uh, second Luke, me sometimes call me, calls me. On account of better Luke. Charmed, Mrs. Lador. What a polite young man. A pleasure to meet you both. Please call me Angela. I'm sorry my husband could not be here. Ahem. <clears throat> I'm married, Herschel. <clears throat> uh, yes. How is Henry these days? Extraordinary how time flies, isn't it? Yes, it is. Henry's doing very well, thank you. You haven't changed a bit, Herschel. Aside from finally getting your hair cut. Ha ha. Ah, yes. That. Well... We can talk about that later. Could we discuss your letter for a moment? I must say we've already experienced quite a bit of excitement since arriving here in Monte de Oro. Yes! The masked gentleman is turning the town upside down. Everyone is on edge. Oh yeah, Leighton in his youth. In his prime. Did you hear that he transformed a group of people into horses? It sounds absurd, I know, but there were several witnesses. Well, we witnessed a very disturbing incident on our way over here. Don't tell me that monster is struck again. Yes, he turned some tourists into stone. I still don't understand how he did such a thing, but it certainly was terrifying. How awful. It's clear the masked gentleman is trying to destroy our city with the power of the Mask of Chaos. With all the tourists coming and going here, we've still been able to identify all the victims so far. Our residents are living in fear now, terrified of these marvels or miracles, or whatever awful name he calls them. He's just smiling. The masked gentleman! A mysterious villain called the masked gentleman is performing oddly dramatic feats across town. He must have some agenda, but his motives are still unclear. The masked gentleman started staging his unsettling acts about a month ago. What on earth could he be after? What on earth? Angela, do you know for certain that he is the actual Mask of Chaos? After all, that mask was lost with Randall. Who's Randall? Randall Ascot was my best friend and the one who discovered the mask. Professor, your best friend discovered the Mask of Chaos? So you haven't told them about Randall or the mask? No, I was hoping for... Honestly, I don't know what I was hoping for, Angela. Lore? Welcome back, Miss. We're getting the lore! We thought it was Angela... Lador, but it was Angela... De... Lore. What is it, Professor? You can tell us. Yeah, from Monsters, Inc. Randall discovered the mask, and then... What happened after that was my fault. You mustn't blame yourself, Herschel. Since the accident, Henry has gone into those ruins many times searching. All these years, searching for Randall. Henry found the mask, Herschel. He what? Yes. He discovered it during one of his excursions and found a great deal of treasure as well. 
he came upon it in one of the caves. If he found the mask, then was there... Unfortunately, no. There was no sign of Randall anywhere. Henry's still searching for him, Herschel. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Chad. Aside from his work and his family, it's the only thing he cares about. I can't say that I blame him. I often catch myself thinking of Randall, even after all these years. Your pendant. Yes, you remember. I love it so. It's my favorite letter. Ooh. Even if it has aged a bit. Not unlike us. Of course I remember it. I never apologize for how I treated you, Herschel. You must forgive my silence all these years. I knew it wasn't your fault, but I just couldn't accept that Randall was gone. I want to say it was because I was young, but that's no excuse. I needed someone to blame, Herschel. I'm sorry. I was completely insensitive to the fact that Randall was your best friend as well. Angela, don't. I never held anything against you. I couldn't save Randall, and I broke my promise to you. It is my greatest regret that my recklessness and my my recklessness and my poor judgment cost my best friend his life. It haunts me even to this day. It also reminds me of the Sudoku I saw on the train right over. Oh, Herschel, I'm so sorry. I know it has been difficult on us all. This mask reminds me so much of Randall, as does my pendants. I protested, but Henry insisted the mask stay in the house. You kept the mask here? Then how did the masked gentleman come by it? Isn't sad enough. Unwound Future is a gut punch. <laughs> it's so sad. It was stolen about a month ago. And this co coincided with the first appearance of the masked gentleman. More or less, yes. Herschel, I want you to catch this villain. I want the mask, and I want Randall's memory to be left in peace once and for all. I will do my best. Can you show me where you kept the mask? In Henry's study. He keeps it locked, and I doubt he'll be home tonight. He has been out more and more lately. Is that so? In that case, we will take our leave for the evening and return tomorrow. Thank you, Herschel, for everything. I reserved a room for you at the Dromedary. It's just west of the city monument. You can't miss it. Oh, well, thank you. That was very kind of you, Angela. Don't... Do you mind if I poke everything in your home real quick? It's gonna... It's gonna poke everything. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's a pokeable couch. Oh, I, whoa. Look, look at... Look, 3D! Wow. Meow. Wow. Uh, hey, thank you for the bits. I'll get caught up on stuff shortly. What? 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 Why is it like a single pixel? This house is certainly fitting for a gentleman. Have I played all the latent games? I've played all six of the mainline latent games. And I played a little bit of... Was it the latent brothers? What was the mobile one? Play a little bit of that, and it was like weird. I haven't played Catriel though. There's a mobile one. Yeah, forgot what it was called. It's called Layton Bros. Layton Bros. Except I didn't think Herschel was in it. <laughs> That's three more D's than I was expecting. You could fit five of your offices here, Professor. Look at all this furniture. It's huge. How about a game of badminton? Thanks, Ladry. Lane's not in it. It's called Layton Bros, but yeah. Layton Brothers Mystery Room. Yeah, that's right. Two, three, four. We've stumbled on a hidden puzzle. I love hidden puzzles. Ooh! Would you look at those? Bunny Hop Swap. Are they meant to be his kids or something? It's Layton's son? Oh. Yeah, I don't remember it that well. I don't think I finished it. Here's some rather unusual rabbit toys. There are three rules. The rabbits can only move by jumping horizontally, diagonally, or vertically over other rabbits. They can jump over any number of rabbits at once. A white rabbit will turn brown when jumped over and vice versa. Can you make all the rabbits here turn brown following the rules given a boov? Uh, anyway, yeah, we were, yeah. Um. Uh. Oh, oh. Um. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Um. Eh, eh. 
Eh. Um. Shit. Wait. Wait. Hold on. Hold. On. Wait. I'm get. It's go. It's it's going really good. Fuck. Wait. No. Wait. 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 Do do do, do that. Do that. And then um. Uh. Shit. Um. Uh. Um. And um. Uh, 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 yeah! First try. Okay, here we go. That was no match for my wits. There's a big cupcake. All it took was a few big leaps from our brave bouncing bunnies. Just goes to show what a little courage can do. I've learned so much. Where's Luke? He's fine. It proved challenging to be sure. If you cross Gallery Plaza and continue east through the Merchant District, you'll see the Dromedary. It's good to see you, Angela. We will talk more tomorrow. Get some rest. Bum, 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 bum. Let me go into the kitchen. I need to root a boot. My stomach's growling terribly, Professor. Let's head to the hotel. Certainly. However, before we do that, I would like to do a bit more work, that is, if your stomach has the patience. Oh, uh, of course. I think I'm just famished for, for clues. Eh. Luke, stop eating my notes. Let's return to Carnival Square. I would like to take another look at the scene there. Well, let's get to it then. The lion's getting going. Oh, excuse me, I'm terribly sorry. My apologies, sir. Oh, are you Professor Herschel Layton? I see you've met- you have me at a disadvantage. Oh dear me, I do beg your pardon, my name is Morty. A pleasure to meet you, I'm Mr. Henry Lador's assistant. Might I ask just how you are familiar with Professor Layton? Oh, Mrs. Lador told us some days ago to expect your arrival, and here you are. She said I would know you by the at. Please allow me to introduce you to Luke Triton and Emmy Altava. He just remembered, that he had a refresher of their names because they introduced themselves to Angela. I just like the idea that he doesn't remember their names. A pleasure! I trust that you've already met with Mrs. Lador. Yes. However, we weren't able to speak with Henry. Angela said he's otherwise engaged currently. Oh, yes, with yet another appearance by the masked gentleman. I am sure Mr. Lador will have his hands full for the rest of the night. However, I will inform Mr. Lador that I saw you here. Please forgive him for not greeting you himself. My duties tonight are as plentiful as they are urgent. You must excuse me. A pleasure meeting you. Likewise, Mordy. Thank you. If Mr. Lador has an assistant, he must be just as important as you, Professor. I'm sure Henry's more valuable to Montedor than I could ever be, Luke. Let's investigate Carnival Square once more. Perhaps we'll find something that will help lighten Henry's workload. Henry's got an assistant that isn't a fucking kid. God damn it, Henry. You're making me look bad. I have a goddamn child hanging out with me. This sucks. Professor, what's wrong? Nothing, Luke. Those footsteps, could it be? Yes, the feet of a gentleman never lie. I know you even without my eyes seeing you. Where is Aldous, you ask? Hidden, the answer is you was the Zoom I told you about earlier. Zoom, my lovelies. Zoom. His gentle feet. Zoom. Miraculous. It seems you have mastered the Zoom. The hairs of my head have never been happier. Now, welcome to the back alley. I'm here to break your kneecaps. Uh, whoa. Oh, yeah. So many hint coins. Good thing I'm not going to need any of these. Because I never get stumped. By puzzles meant for ten-year-olds. You found me with such ease. I knew my faith in your abilities was true, bravo. Why, thank you. Did you wish to speak with us about something? Ah, uh, yes, well, if you do not mind, I have something important to show you. See that metal box down there? Place your magnifying glass on it and give it a tap. If I must, sir. 
Uh, uh, I got a stylish clay pot. I don't want this. Success, an item for your collection. You're now like a museum with feet. A footzium. Monte d'Or hides many odd items and rare works of art. Find these pieces and build your collection to increase your overall joy. As your collection expands, so shall your heart swell with wonder. The hidden items are many, as are the places in which they reside. Enjoy! I shall definitely look forward to creating a notable collection, all this of random junk. Thank you. A foot museum will be a big attraction. I have no doubt that you speak the truth. In, antici in anticipation of such words, I have prepared a special thing for you. Remember where our destinies crossed earlier in Carnival Square, the wooden box that was there? Be sure to check it again. And now I have graciously shared my wisdom with you, I bid you. Adieu. Hmm. He instantly appears to impart his gems of wisdom, and just as quickly, he's gone. The collection. You got the collection from Aldous. Collection has been added to the professor's trunk. Any treasures you find will be stored here. You can view them at any time. Never a boring moment in Monte d'Or. Now let's make our way to the fountain. Good. Good. Another collection to add to my collection. Bath wants to be the purveyor of the footsium. New. A new Miss Ma'am I'm Colette I'm with the circus But I'm sure you could have figured that out You look like smart people I should be on stage now But some of our equipment was damaged When those poor people were turned to stone Yes, that was quite a scene, wasn't it? Why would anyone do something like that? Everyone was having fun at the parade And then that guy turns people to stone And just ruins everything What a jerk Sorry if that sounded negative. I didn't mean that. I hate being negative. Hey, how about a puzzle to lighten things up? Double O seven. A toasty toast. After a long day of performing, the members of the circus troupe have changed into their street clothes and are celebrating another successful show with some hot chocolate. There's at least one member of the troupe who's not present. Who is in the tent? Select each person who is there. Uh, what? Well, well, you see, this puzzle sucks. Um, I, yeah, and we got pompadour guy. We've got round hair. I think this man is dead on his back. Um. Is that on the left and right? Are, are those going to be potted plants? Because no one really has hair that matches that directly. Three. I think white, high, white hair guy's there? Where? In the bottom left corner? I don't know. I don't know what... Can I... Can I switch to the top screen? Is that... That thing I can do? No. No. Middle left overlapping with Pompadour. Oh, you're right, the back. Because he's just got a little flip in the back. I think you're right. So... There's at least one member not present. I don't see these two anywhere. Smith. I believe I have this one. Fuck! Damn it! I'm not certain what happened here. Take a deep breath and try again. Beep. Beep. The mugs. What about the mugs? Oh, not everyone's... Ha Wait. No, we only care about who's there and not there. Not who's not having hot chocolate. So the number of mugs doesn't necessarily matter. I'm convinced the guy from the far right is laying on his back in the middle. Who would be in a tent and not be drinking hot chocolate? There's feet? What? Is that what's the far left? Kerchief ladies on the left? 
Left plant is Grumpy Lady, but her hair doesn't look like that. Also, there's I don't know. Well, let's sleep. Let's see. How about this? Puzzles are made to be solved. This puzzle sucks. Oh, good. She had her back to us. All members aside from the chap, second from the right, are present and accounted for. Let's hope they don't stay up too late. They got another busy day ahead of them. Yeah, they're these ruffians up late drinking their hot cocoa. Party animals, a lot of them. <laughs> Plants don't have feet. Yeah, it could have been a million things. It's a silhouette. Great job. You're really pretty smart. Keep it up. The world always needs more smart people to figure things out. You know anything about these strange things happening around town? They start about the same time we got here. The police think this masked madman is some kind of magician, but these are no simple tricks, I tell you. Magic shouldn't be used to harm people or cause chaos anyway. Unless the chaos was making rainbow puppies or something. I couldn't agree with you more. Someone needs to stop this masked freak so that people can enjoy Monte de Or again. Rainbow puppies would be a hell of a good kind of chaos. You're a silhouette. I am. Things seem to have calmed down here. Yes, it appears the statues have been cleared away. We should search for any clues that were left behind. Was some guy with a dolly just pull up and cart them away? Uh, give me the box again. Oh boy, a knobbly cane! What incredible treasure. Halt! You! No walking! I mean, stop! There! Where are you walk- where you're walking? I'm sorry, should I be walking somewhere else? You almost destroyed some important evidence there, lad! Oh, have you found something, officer? Oh yes, we didn't just find something, we really found something. See these hoof prints? Mighty sus, eh? They're all marked up with footprints from the tourists running everywhere. But they go in the very same direction the masked gentleman went. How's that for some real police work? Well, I suppose that may be helpful. Have you talked to any witnesses? Luke goes to jail. They all go to jail. Have we talked to witnesses? We're the police! Of course we have. I, I mean, we thought about it anyway. We'll grill those witnesses just as soon as we find them. See, it's very hard to find witnesses in a tourist city like Monte de Or. At least we got all the statues in custody. They won't be giving us any more trouble. Now we should find out who they were. I realized that most of the people here were tourists when I was asking around. No one seemed to know much about the Ladors. Only our residents would know about the Ladors. Good people, big house. If you need any general information on Monte de Or, I know someone over in the Merchant District you should talk to. Her name is, uh, it, uh, Eloise. That's, uh, Jillian. Uh, I know she's a woman. She's a woman with a name, and her shop is in the Merchant District, west of Montsarton Gallery. I see. Thank you. We will look for a woman. Thank you. V most helpful. A woman in the shop district who runs a shop. The most woman. You think you know women? Name every woman. Uh, Eloise and Jillian. Done. Did you see it? That masked gentleman's so talented I could barely control myself just thinking about him. People turned into stone? What a show. What a show. That was no show, miss. Uh, Madeline, call me Maddie, and you're telling me it was no show? It was an experience is what it was. Pure genius. You saw the most recent dark miracle? Saw it? I didn't just see it. I felt it. I lived it. At one point, I wondered if I was it. It changed me truly. I love the mask work. I haven't seen a piece rot with such tension in quite a while. Not since this puzzle, anyway. Oh, God. This is a puzzle. Puzzle number eight. Carnival colors. Colorful flags have been strung up all over town for the carnival. There are seven different flags arranged in several different sequences. One such three flag sequence is shown in the top right corner. How many times does this sequence of flags appear in the strings of flags shown above? Write out the answer. Um, um, is this some trick question shit? Cause I don't know. We got one, we got uh, two, 
Um, we got, uh, three near back there. And, um, additionally to that, there's, um, so you see, I mean, there's two in a chain right here. Does that animate to show me the last one? Nope. Cool. Well, I shouldn't make an assumption, right? So my count is currently at three. Which is a very good number. But there's got to be some shenanigans, isn't there? Always make an assumption. Look carefully. First look at anyone three flags. You look for the white profile and you can look at the flags. Yeah, I... Three. Oh. Is it two because one isn't the same pattern? Is one not? Oh, shit. You're right. This one's not the right order. Oh, my God. I almost fell for it. God damn. Um. Hmm. Is it just two, then? That seems... Layton has trained me to not just be like, yep, that's it, done. Almost bamboozled. Oh my god! These flags are full of patterns, Sprocken. Just two? Three? Two or three? I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say two, because that's what I see. Which means it's probably wrong. Just a dash of puzzle solving here. Okay. A fine puzzle for a gentleman. Okay. Correct. It's there twice. Okay. Have we seen an actual puzzle yet? <laughs> Not really, no. That's fine. I mean, most latent puzzles are, are like... I mean... I don't know. I Maybe like the first couple had more... It's just there's a variety. It, it, calling them puzzles is not good. A lot of them are just like... Brain teasers and riddles and hidden objects. It's just... I don't know. Just little, little, little fun little, little things. Fun little guys. Wonderful. More riddly puzzles. Yeah, well math... I would argue math puzzles aren't really puzzles either. That's almost as impressive as the masked gentleman. Any chance you know him, I'd love to meet him. The mask, the suit, the brilliance. You hear me? Do you hear me? Just brilliant. Professor, if I may interject here for a moment, the masked gentleman could be anywhere right now. Good point, Emmy. He has protected his identity in a town full of masked individuals. Yes, there are masks everywhere. The town's filled with them. Does that mean that everyone here is a genius? Oh, my. There's a boutique over in the merchant district that rents costumes. I know they have a lot of masks over there. You think the masked gentleman does the shopping there? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Um, head for the merchant district. Which is, is that, is that here? Weast? That looks like the merchant district over there, Professor! Let's take a left! Don't point, Luke, it's fruit. Be a gentleman! What are these plants doing here in the road? How do the bushes get through here? You can walk through most parts of the city. You were pointing first, Professor. I only pointed a puzzle. It's different. Oh, all right. <laughs> That's one expensive barber shop. The sign says they do a miracle cut. What kind of style is that? I changed my hairstyle recently. Did you notice, Professor? Oh, fuck, did you? Oh, uh, it looks great. I didn't change anything, I was testing you. Balder Dash. Uh, yeah, oh. Your hair has less volume, actually, does it, actually? Shit. I didn't notice. <laughs> That's an impressive array of brightly colored clothes. Hmm, I could do with a brighter shade of lemon. I thought those mannequins were alive! Run! And it's more angular. Shit. 
I heard the parade was ruined. Too bad, so sad, as they say. The police always seem to be a step behind this guy. Typical. The lady in the boutique knows more than all our police officers combined. The lady in which boutique? The one I'm standing in front of. Why, you gonna exchange your costume? Um, no, thank you very much. No thanks necessary, or wanted, really. Professor, this must be the shopkeeper that the policeman told us about. She may have some information for us. Yes, let's go inside. Costume, why? Thank you, sir. Very kind. That's a lot of masks. You won't see these styles anywhere else. Maybe we should buy one as a souvenir. No, I don't think any of them would suit me. Put on the mask, Luke. You shan't be seen in public, you're hideous. All right, Professor. They have dresses too, I can't say they're my color though. Try this one on, Emmy. A fine dinner dress. It looks delicious. That's not what I meant, Luke. Oh, I'm sorry. Luke, don't eat the dress, Luke. It's a dinner dress. It's not for dinner. I want the food. I found the wolf meal, Professor. Very good, Luke. Spit it out too. It's wonderful. Wow, I wouldn't know which one to pick. The people in the parade are wearing masks too. Originally, this carnival was started to honor the Mask of Chaos. Hmm. Hmm. Beep, beep, beep. It's fiber, Professor. You're always telling me I should have a behind fiber diet. I believe the fitting rooms are behind the curtain. Professor, you should try a little variety. That curtain would make a perfect cape. It's the the sun mask. It's Cafe's mask from Majora. Doesn't that mask look a bit like the Mask of Chaos to you? I wonder if it's supposed to symbolize the sun. You're right. Now that you mention it, the masked gentleman's mask is the same type of symbol, doesn't it? I've been meaning to show someone this puzzle. Would you like to have a look? No. God, no, we're in the middle of an investigation, Luke. Oh, God. Stamp stomper. Oh, no. This stamp is adorned with a blazing sun motif. Can you picture how the design will look after you plonk the stamp down onto a piece of paper? A, B, C, or D. When you plonk it down, it's going to be uh, clockwise. Which is only one of this D. Please, allow me. Don't point. It's rude. An assistant can solve a puzzle or two. I was worried that was going to be difficult. <laughs> and, and then and then in true latent fashion, I was like, oh, it's obviously D. It's the only one that goes clockwise. And I was like, wait. Is there some gotcha? Shit. Get that weak shit. <laughs> Slaps the paper away from Luke. Get that out of my face. You had a bright idea with that puzzle, Luke. Thanks. I'm glad you warmed up to the idea. Was that... Was that meant to be like a like a stamp puzzle, but you said a warm puzzle instead? Warm pun? I, like, I'm glad I got your stamp of approval, Emmy. We, you said you're glad you warmed up to the... Like, if it was if it was a puzzle about, like, like a hot tub or something. It was a sun stamp. I'd say it was more of a stamp puzzle than a sun puzzle. It, fine. Fine. Fair enough. Why, hello there, darlings. Do come in. Thank you. May I ask if this is your shop? Oh, shush now. I don't want to hear one word. Just have a seat here. I know exactly what you're here for. You poor dears, who is responsible for fitting all of you? You young man, you would look so adorable in a little Harlequin outfit. Actually, we would just like to ask you a few questions. Ah, uh, yes, here to put Madame Lepushka's brain on the latest styles. Well, if you solve this puzzle, then perhaps I can help you. Turn the child into a clown. Please do not clownify our boy. He's enough of a clown as he is. Yeah! Wait, what? The place to be. This delicatessen is quite the fashionable place to shop for groceries this season. You can always look through the shop window and see a line of people waiting. The window is largely covered in posters, but can you count how many people are in the line today? Um... Well, one of them is Luke. <laughs> Which is... Quite good. Uh, 
One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 I believe I have this one. No. That's unfortunate. There were more feet. There were more feet than I thought. Seven? Where's the seventh? Wait. Okay, 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 okay. Here's, here's, well. Here's some feet. Here's some feet. Here's some feet. Here's some feet. Uh. Oh, is that a guy? I think I missed that before. This is a seven. I think it's eight. I think it's seven. 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 Everyone in chat's counting eight. Where's the eighth one? What am I missing? The hand? What hand? It's at least three. I thought the deal on the right had a wide stance, but maybe he doesn't. It's seven, but he counted the wall. Hi. There's a tiny pair far left. Oh. There absolutely is a tiny pair far left. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're right, Trent. Hey. Just Final a dash answer. of puzzle solving here. That was a challenge, to be sure. That was a challenge, to be sure. Thank you, Layton. There was a little girl riding paint. What? So directly beneath the girl riding piggyback, I thought those were spindly legs. And there were shoes in the shadow there. So you were meant to count all the shoes. Also, that's not Luke. It's an old lady. <laughs> that's good. Um, you meant to count all the shoes and then look at the heads and be like, that doesn't line up with where anyone's head is. Is this game bad? <laughs> Well, great. We got it. You know it's a good puzzle when you're like, I got it right? For the wrong reason? Okay. That's Luke in three years' time. Yep. That's Luke in the new game. Nicely done. Now, how may I help you? No, wait. Just tell me a bit about yourself and we'll find a mask that suits your personality. Actually, we wanted to ask you about the masked gentleman. Oh, you like styles of the classic flair. Well, there's not much to say. He appeared about a month ago. Nobody knows who he is. I mean, he craves attention. Clearly, his extravagant acts speak for themselves. He turns some tourists into horses. Odd. He performs these magic tricks that well. Some say they're real. I do not. That's all I know, darlings. If you're on some sort of an investigation, I have a little something that may help your logic skills. Who knows? It may also help your fashion skills there, young man. What? Me? Horses? Yeah. Here, I made this game myself. You'll need a sense of style, but you'll get the hang of it. You're still young. You just may learn how to run a shop, too. Sounds like fun. Thank you. The shop. Oh, was we were on earlier? Hopefully. With any luck, yes. Horses, of course. Fresh fruits. Madame Lapushka gave you the shop. Shop has been added to the professor's trunk. Figure out what your customers want in order to sell out your inventory. It's not easy running a shop, you know. If you manage to sell out of each aisle's inventory, come back and let me know. Don't forget now, okay? I won't. I'll sell out every aisle and come back to show you. How does this help us with our investigation? It doesn't, but it's fun. Your aim is to stock the shelves in such a way that the customer wants to buy everything on display. Madame Lapushka decides where the first item will go. She'll outline it in red. She's the boss. Her decision's final. You can't move this item. Use the styles to choose goods from the top of the screen. Put them on the shelves. The space will go dark if your item won't fit. If you touch and hold an item, Madame Lapushka will tell you a bit about it. Once you've finished arranging the items, tap open shop to open for business. You won't be able to open the shop until all the aisle's items are on display. We have a customer. 
How exciting, our first customer. Let's see how she goes about her shopping. Hello, I've been looking everywhere for Fluffy the teddy bear. Is he here? She was right about that first item. It already caught her eye. It's a yellow teddy bear named Fluffy. Adorable. Once you catch their attention, customers will buy products on impulse. You're so fluffy. You're so soft and cuddly. So cute. I like teddy bears best of all. Here's another one. For example, they won't be able to resist an adjacent item of the same type. The customer's attention just went to the white teddy bear to the right. Your name is Snowflake. Lovely, you can come too. So cute. More white ones. You could also encourage a shopping spree by connecting items with matching colors. The customer's attention moves up to the white bunny. Ah, predatory capitalism. It's just like Uno? Well, yeah, where it's like your matching shape or color. Yeah, fair. If you encourage the customer's impulse to buy, the whole aisle will soon be sold out. Be sure to avoid situations that can confuse customers, though. If their attention is divided between two acceptable choices, they'll have to think hard about which one they'd prefer. That's a surefire way to bring their shopping spree to an end. You don't want them to think, you want them to spend. Arrange items so that there's a clear path from the first item to the last. Your nibbles come home with me, please. So cute. You're the best bunny friends. What's your name, Mr. B? I love your glasses. So cute. Here's another yellow one. Sleepy whiskers, are you awake? Oops, did I buy everything? What will mother say? Thank you very much, Miss Shop Lady. Buh bye. If a customer buys all the items from an aisle, you'll taste success. As you progress through the main game, you'll find new aisles to challenge you. If you sell it every aisle in the shop, you'll get a nice reward. Let's do some fruits. Oh my god, it's Tetris. The smallest aisle in the shop is also the most fragrant and chock full of our freshest apples, bananas, and pineapples. A new item. Think carefully about how to arrange them. Um... Oh. Oh. Eh, eh, meh, meh. Open the shop! We have a customer. Hello there, do you happen to have any Miss Tolerate delicious apples? Oh, you do? I'd recognize that shine anywhere. One of those, please. That's a juicy looking apple there, too. Isn't that a Granny Jones? I'll take it. Um, another green one, a good healthy color. A stately pineapple? Are they as grand as they sound? I'll take one. Uh, that pineapple looks pretty appetizing as well. A paradise pineapple. I've heard they're sweet and juicy. Uh, that must be your yellow select range. A King Cavendish? Roll out the red carpet. I'll buy it. Of another banana. This one is... A Queen Plantain would be perfect for a pie. The shelves are bare. Did I buy everything? You certainly know how to win over your customers. Oh, Jamie Lee Curtis one for supporting. Well, that's all right. That means that means my my childhood friend did not win an Oscar. Still to be nominated alone is madness. Ba 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 bam ba bam. All right. Nope, didn't mean to save it there. Cool. Great. Let me save over that. Mario movie's gonna sweep the next Oscars. They're gonna have to invent new categories for the Mario movie. Best Keegan Michael Key doing a Toad voice. And the Oscar goes to Jack Black. It seems we've gathered all we can. I think it's finally time to head to the hotel. I believe we can get there if we just head north through the Merchant District here. To the north? My God, Emmy. Me gets. Best Chris Pratt doing a Chris Pratt voice. Jack Black. Once again. Whoa. What huge statues. Hope they don't come alive. The scale is enormous. Typical of Monte de Or. What's the connection between the two? Hmm. The arcade is looking pretty lively today. Chance Avenue is in all the guidebooks. It's a little different from other shopping arcades, though. Yeah, Roxas. Um, I mentioned in a previous stream, but I, 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 I haven't talked to her in like 10 years. But I am childhood friends with uh, Stephanie Shu, who was the daughter in Everything Everywhere All at Once. And was nominated for an Oscar. 
Um, literally knew her from elementary school through middle school, high school. Did drama with her in high school. We went to NYU together. Um, though she was in the School of the Arts, and I didn't see her much. But, yeah. So she didn't win tonight, <laughs> which is, you know. Going up against her co-star Jamie Lee Curtis is, you know, pretty rough. But super, super excited for her. It's very cool. Her, her, she's been killing it for years, but not like this. So it's very cool to see. Monte de Or's history is on display here for all to see. She's my favorite character in Crabble. Mm -hmm. Oh, how clumsy of me. I know. <laughs> I can't believe this was just a desert oasis 18 years ago. How about we take a photo in front of it? Say cheese. It's funny for me, too, because, like, I know a lot of people in the online space, like YouTube and Twitch and stuff like that. Like, I've been working in this industry for 10 years, if you want to put it like that. I have met a lot of people. Uh, it's very, very cool. Um, and I have, like, friend of friend connections to sort of, like, traditional media, like Hollywood, television, stuff like that. I've met various people, but most people I've met have been, like, in production roles. Not a lot of people in front of the camera. So, it's just very cool. Whenever, whenever it's like, you know, I'll hear, like, through the grapevine, like, oh, this person that went to, an, like, another high school, and I, like, did stuff with them. Like, they're now the assistant to this director, and it's like, what the hell? Like, it, it's crazy where people wind up. It's neat. Is it look like 10 years old? Yeah. He's a little baby boy. Uh... I've got a lot of low bacon numbers. That's the way of putting it, yeah. There's information about the casino on this sign. It's packed. Doesn't look very appealing. The hand is a nice touch, though. There are several casinos on Chance Avenue. I legit wonder what my bacon number would be. It honestly has to be like a two. I bet I've met someone. Well, I think the the bacon number is, is based on like, like being part of a production. So they would be like infinite. <laughs> But if it's based off people that I know or have met, even just briefly, I'm sure I've met someone who, like, did something with Kevin Bacon. At the very least, I, my, my, like, highest would be three, I think. Just, just, just from... I don't know. It's wild. Uh... This is a silly thing to think about. I don't want to talk to clowns! Why are we playing the clown game? Sixth from my father. Ooh. Why is it always seltzer? I mean, would uncarbonated water be just as funny? Look, Professor, a clown! Luke always points at a clown. Now that's a bit rude, my boy. Don't just call me clown. I do have a name, you know. It's Juggles. And I'm a juggalo, not a clown. You meant no disrespect, sir. Yes, I'm sorry. Juggles, sir. What is clown gaming? Oh no, my apologies. I need to learn not to take things so seriously. Look at my hands! Wee! This clown sucks, Professor. Indeed he does. I went to clown college and all they taught me to do was go woo with my hands. Looks like you folks are looking for something a bit more challenging. How about a puzzle? Wee. My cousin is friends with the guy who wrote John Dies at the End. What's my bacon number? Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Though. Backstage blunder. Look at them mice. Oh no. This clown's supposed to be on stage in a few minutes, but he tripped and dropped his juggling equipment. Everything he was carrying came in pairs, but an item from one of his pairs has gone missing. Can you find it? Boom. Man. Barry shares an office with Gerard, who's friends with Jamie Lee Curtis, who probably worked with Kevin Bacon at one point. There's the connection. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Probably. I, I I have missed Jamie Lee Curtis every single time she's been to the office. Every single time I've missed her. I don't think it's even happened that many times, but it's always been like literally by like, oh, she was here like 20 minutes ago. I'm like, damn it. <laughs> uh, there's two of the, the, bo the bowling pin guys of both of the colors. There's some, some rolly balls. Um... Is it is it this? Oh fuck you! Ah oh, fu oh, fuck you! Fuck you! Just a dash of puzzle solving here. 
A fine puzzle for a gentleman. Hi, Shiv. My mom would be really jealous. Yeah. The clown's only holding one box, which is part of it. The mice stole it. The fucking rats took it. Where could the other box be? They look so snug in there. Nice. Last time I saw deductive skills like that, I was learning my PhD in clown theory and existential enigmanomics. Bob. I have not been taking clown college seriously enough. Speaking of nothing I just said, have you seen the monument here? I have a feeling you may find it interesting. Yes, I've heard it's an important part of the city's history. It commemorates the founding of Monte Dior, if I recall correctly. Yes, it's a stone edifice attempting to stall the momentum of time itself. But it fails. It always fails. Such is man's lot. A shame that recent events have cast such a bleak light on the festivities here. If you'll excuse us, we're headed to the dromedary. How fancy. Even if I could get 20 clowns into a combat car, it co I couldn't afford to stay there. It's just west of there, right? West of here, right? Have fun. I don't want to look up clown eggs, Reb. I don't want to do it. Our circus is near there. Uh, since you're in the neighborhood, stop by if you have the time, because the time always has you. I don't like an existential clown. I don't care for that. A new episode has been added to the trunk ballooning out of proportion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh boy, let's learn more about juggles. Monte. Monte Mole. Is it just Monte d'Or? Who wants balloons? Come on, we got balloons at the circus. Come get them. Hey, Stumble, come here. Hey, are you ready? I'm almost ready. I mean, I think I'm ready. We're releasing the balloons soon, right? What? I'm not releasing nothing. Balloons are a hot commodity here. But we're supposed to release them during the parade. Hang on, let me just get my balloons here. Oh, no. Inf. Well, isn't this something? Oh, that looks fun. You sure to draw a lot of attention like that. But I don't know what. It's pinching me quite a bit. You think you could... Hey, Juggles, get over here. Look at this. Why are you guys just standing around? Are we done for the day? Nah, I'm working, but Stumbles here is just goofing off. Well, well, it must be nice to just take a break while everyone else is working. How about this? I'm just going to stand here and juggle and have myself a good old time. Stumble slacking off like that isn't going to help you earn your clown nose, you know. B but uh, perhaps if you could just help untangle me for a moment. Hey, Jugglers, you're getting pretty good at that juggling thing. What'd you call it? Juggling? Thanks. I just started last week. It's a lot more fun than always working in the garden. Maybe I should pick up a skill other than being cute. So sorry to interrupt you two, but I think I may be in danger of flying away. Oh, there. Yep. Maybe the name chose him, you know? Or it was sarcastic because he couldn't juggle. Does that clown lay eggs? I don't... I don't wish to... Think. Thoughts. This hotel looks great! Well, it certainly looks like Mrs. Lador has taken good care of us. Bills, I doubt if I've stayed in a hotel this nice before, actually. I suppose the town that lives on tourism must have its fair share of fancy hotels. No. No. Some lay eggs and some don't. Look at that camel on top of the sign. One moment, Luke. Who is this here? Who's what where? Oh. That man's got a wide stance. It's pretty good. Pretty potent, wide stanced gentleman. No, 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 no. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 I can zoom in the space. The Dromedary. It's not exactly an inspiring name, is it? Camels come in two varieties, one hump or two. Thanks, Professor. This one had one coin. Handful of coins. One hint coin. K -k -k 
Okay. Oh. To say the hotels here are avant-garde would be an understatement. The palatial rooftops are particularly eye-catching. They don't have buildings like these in London. Professor, can I eat the building? Another gaudy sign blocking the view. The bigger the sign, the more likely people are to stop, right? It is reassuring that they intend to give us a warm reception. And you there. Stands the gentleman. This fluff ball is a curse upon my house. A curse, I say. Oh, look at that rabbit. It's so cute. You would find this bunny to be cute? A paunchy cottontail like such as this to be lauded for its looks? Truly a shame. This fur-covered sloth has exhausted my patience. Get thee out of my sight. I cannot possibly determine how to voice this man. He's got a cowboy hat. You're getting rid of him, but why? Get thee to a nunnery and a bunnery for the banui. Why, my boy, a circus is like a play. Everyone must play their part, but this idle fuzzball wants to get by on its cuteness. You can't just toss him out into the street. I know, what if I taught him some tricks that he could perform for the circus? What is this? You think that you, a child, a mere babe, can teach tricks to this frothy open rodent? Of course, I can talk to animals. A, 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 huh? He says he doesn't want to leave his friends in the circus. He says he'll work very hard if you just give him another chance. And he says he's sorry. Right, Benui? Yes, he does. Please give him another chance. I work here my entire life and no animal listens to me. And this child steps forth to speak with my laziest rascal. So be it. But I swear this, that bunny's feet shall not see my stage until I see an ocean of progress. I give you half a fortnight. A two night. That's one week. One week I give you to transform the soft mass of fuzzy rubbish to a dedicated performance maestro. You see, sir, he'll be the artist working bunny in show business. Did I unlock a rabbit? Oh. I must choose. Chat. It is time to choose. Left Banui or right Banui? The one we don't choose is turned into a very small hat that the other rabbit will then wear. We will pull it. Sophie's choice. No! Whim... Benui. Left or right? You must decide, chip. While you vote, uh, Killer Chain, thanks again for 53 months. Look at that big frog. Mac LaFame, thanks for six. Enjoy your golden key. Another Layton. Must have done something nice to deserve this. Uh, you were cool. Did it. Thank you. Slaughter the weakest. Do it. Which one's the weakest, game? Why not both? Cannot. Only one. Uh, my doi my dice rolls ones. Thanks for four months. Hiya. Just tuned in. What have I missed? Uh, uh, uh. Benui. The right is the weakest. Oh, shit. Slaughter both. That's a bold claim. Uh, Ebay, thanks for 100 bits. Unwound Future. I am the saddest professor late in game. Miracle Mask. Hold my beer. Bush Goblin. Thanks for 27 months. Holy fucking shit. There's a third dimension? What the fuck? Sorry, Dill. Have you learned like this? Um... Smash X with 10 bits. Puss in Boots did not win for best animated feature, losing to Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio. But del Toro did give a nice animation and cinema speech. Hell yeah. Right. Holy hell. 80%. Said so we're going with the right Banui. Oh, look. Oh, oh, no. Oh. See, now I didn't know there was a little animation. And he stands up on the other screen. Shit. What about this one? Oh. Oh, man. Look how cute he is, chat. But you're sending him straight to the bunny gallows? Time to die, little one. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
He's dead. <laughs> uh, 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 R.I.P. Left, lefty. That's a good name, right? It's a good name for a rabbit. Even better, Luke. I don't have enough characters for that. Brother to Chet Rippo. The final Luke? The Benoist Luke? Uh, 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 um, um, uh. The Nuke, ugh. Final Luke? I don't know if there's a Luke in the next game, though. Seems presumptuous to name him Final Luke. Luke is the one. Luke, Luke. Luke, Luke gift. What about Lucas? Oh, so you can't even see the. Luke Warm. Hmm. Lucas. Lucas. Kind of like Lucas. Because it does sound like Lucas. Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Locust. Mm hmm. I like Lucas. Look at the silhouettes at the bottom. Yeah, they're pretty good. They showed up earlier. Did we in the last, last one, Lucas? Did we? I don't remember. I have zero memory of anything that happened before I know. Loop Souk. The Luke. Luke's of Hazard. Loken. We didn't go Germa. What if we name him Germa? True Luke. Uh, b -b 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 Adam, thanks for 31 months. I wonder how Flora's doing. She's fine. She's just hanging out in the village. That, ha that happens years from now. Uh, Autism Dragon, thanks for 100 bits. I knew a guy was on a reality show called The Baby Bar Wars where they give kids to young couples who think they're ready for kids. I love te television. Kiwi Queen, thanks for a year. Enjoy your mildly cursed skeleton key. So what kind of curse is on these things anyway? Uh, it can talk. It has an ominous aura to it. Those are the main primary curses. You may find other curses as the year progresses. Thank you. I'm a computer. Thanks for 44 months. That's at least two months. Hope you had a great weekend. Same to you. Thank you. Yeah, name him Luke985. Uh, did we already use Lucas? I don't remember. It's a pretty miraculous. I, it seems quite miraculous. I like Lucas. I just don't remember if we've used this name before. We used Best Luke and Better Luke. No. We haven't. So we're going to Lucas. Here we go. Rabbit. Rabbit has been added to the trunk. It's good. Sunflowers in the store. Look at him holding that rabbit. Squish that rabbit. Squish it. Tyrone gave you the rabbit. Rabbit has been added to the professor's trunk. Befriend the rabbit so you can teach him all the tricks he'll need to know. You have a liking for white rabbits, eh? Yes, I'll name him Lucist. Lukest. His name's Lukest. You said you shall make him the hardest working of his kind? Such a bold claim, my boy. Let time tell how the Banui shall hop. A cute little fellow, isn't he? We'll bring him here back here once you've taught him some tricks, Luke. I'm gonna turn you into a great performer, Lukest. Sniff sniff, says the rabbit. What's that, Lukest? Is he trying to say something, Luke? Sniff sniff sniff. He says you won't let us down. Isn't that right, Lukest? Don't worry, little fellow, we'll get you back home to the circus and no Don't shake the rabbit! Well, this has been quite an eventful and an informative evening. I think it's finally time to step into our hotel. And then he just opens up his briefcase, the rabbit hops in, and then he just closes it on the rabbit. Luke, do you want to see a magic trick? Yes, I do, Professor. Okay. Opens the briefcase, rabbit jumps in, closes the briefcase. Drum roll. Opens it up, and the rabbit's in there just surrounded by a mountain of rabbit poo. Ta-da! Well, Professor, that was, a, well, that was an amazing magic trick. Thank you, Luke. Benoist don't have toe beans, because Gam stole them all. Oh, shit. Wow, it made raisins. <laughs> Luke, are you hungry for raisins? Well, Professor.
guess uh, I don't know raisins could be little cubes. It's amazing, isn't it, Luke? <laughs> Nature is beautiful. <laughs> Let's go ahead and check with the gentleman at the front desk. Professor, these raisins have gone off. No, now, Luke. They're a distinguished palate for a gentleman. I thought rabbits also shit cubes. Is it just wombats? That could be wrong. Uh, I don't. I don't have a lot of experience with rabbits. Maybe rabbit. I don't know. Just wombats. Why well, I think rabbits poop cubes? They poop cocoa puffs. Gotcha. I got a muffled record. They're little balls. Gotcha. Luke, would you like some Cocoa Puffs with your breakfast? Would I, Professor? Uh, I don't like that Granny Relatives here. How are they going to justify them not meeting in this game? Because that would be a time paradox. Hmm. What is this little shack here? It looks vaguely familiar. Are you having deja vu, Luke? Is this part of the hotel's decor? It's rather large for a conversation piece. It must serve some function. Where is she? Okay, well, I guess that's a for later thing. Ah, the Riddler. I love this hotel. The location is perfect. But the name, the dromedary, I mean, what's that supposed to mean? I hate it. Actually, I rather like the name. It refers to the camel on the sign out front. Your tastes are different than mine, clearly. Anyway, I heard there's another hotel in town that rivals this one. I may check that one out as well. Isn't it fun to see different hotels when you're visiting a city? I love it. Yes, perhaps we will look at some of the other hotels later as well. Does dromedary refer to a one-humped camel? This hotel right now, I love it. You're wrong. Greetings! Do you have a reservation? I believe so, Herschel Layton. Hmm, I'm sorry, but I don't see anything under that name. We're fully booked at the moment. Perhaps another hotel would be... Oh, here it is, Professor Layton, of course. As guests of our owners, we are at your service. I'll get your keys one moment. So, do the Lodors own this hotel? That is news to me, quite impressive. I can see how Henry would enjoy the classic formality of the place. Professor, what is Mr. Lador like? Were you two close friends as well? I remember Henry is a very refined and polite young man. However, Henry and I never talked all that much, to be honest. He and Randall were quite close, though. I can't wait to meet Mr. Lador. Everything is ready, sir. Now, if I could just have you sign here. Please allow me to offer you a welcome puzzle. Compliments of the house. The treatment here is certainly first class. Letting your frothing at the mouth. <laughs> Puzzle. Sharing the burden. Share the load. Two porters have to carry six pieces of luggage of unknown weight. Each piece weighs a different amount, and they are labeled in order of weight from A to F, with A being the lightest and F being the heaviest. Each piece weighs up to 10 pounds. The total weight is 40 pounds or less. Each porter can carry up to 20 pounds at once, and between them, they want to carry it all in one trip. How should they divide up the luggage between them piled up? in their hands, and ring the bell when ready. Meh. Huh? Tap the bell to see how they react to the weight. Oh. So... I just... Too bad. Well, I, I mean, I know, I guess... Oh my god, he died. Oh my god, he died. Don't keep me in suspense. There is no puzzle without a solution. I don't like the way they turn towards me. It's like a fucking horror game. The luggage cli crisis has been averted. Well. That was the easiest version of that puzzle I've ever seen. Normally it's like, like weighing out water and shit and you gotta be like, oh, I gotta try these over here and gotta see how these compare this to this and this one. This is just like, ah, just shuffle them till it's good, I guess. Well done, sir. Well done indeed. We have you in room 502. Enjoy your stay. 
Thank you very much. That made for a wonderful welcome. Do you think all the guests get a free puzzle when they arrive, or just the preferred ones? Skip the easy ones. The rooms are so luxurious. This has to be the nicest hotel in Monteor. The beds look so soft, too. We've had quite an eventful first day here in Monteor. Wouldn't you say so, Emmy? You can say that again, Luke. I'm spent. A day like today makes me wonder if there really is magic out there in the world. Do you really think the Mask of Chaos holds some magical power? We can't say for certain, Luke, but we don't want to jump to any conclusions one way or another. If it wasn't magic that turned those people to stone, what was it? That's the question, isn't it? And we're here to find the answer. Yes. But let's say the mask didn't actually have magical powers. If that were the case, then why would anyone steal it? A good question, Luke. My intuition tells me that there is more to the masked gentleman than meets the eye. Honestly, I'm not fully convinced that he actually has the Mask of Chaos. After all, I saw that mask disappear many years ago. What happened to it, Professor? You said this had something to do with your best friend, Randall. Tell us about him, Professor. About... Randall? Professor, I know this may be difficult for you, but in any information you can share with us may help our investigation. If that would be all right, Professor, we don't want to pry. But we do a bit. Yes, we do. Perhaps you're right. It may help our investigation. It may help me as well. Very well. I will tell you what happened 18 years ago. This was around the last time I saw Angela. Randall, Angela, Henry, and I all lived in a small town called Stansbury, just over the mountain range here. Yeah. It was a charming place. No one locked their doors. We were surrounded by nature, and Randall was indeed my best friend. He educated me in all sorts of disciplines, including archaeology. I still have much to learn in the field, most certainly. However, back then, I wasn't even vaguely interested in archaeology. I was more interested in babology, if you know what I mean, Luke. What, really? I can't imagine that. Flashback. Oh. That night, we just listened to the professor. It broke my heart to hear him recount how he had lost his best friend. <laughs> but hidden in his story was a clue that would prove essential to solving the case of the masked gentleman. Mm-hmm. Somewhere in the back, so it's like, also we did learn that magic is real and can turn people to stone and horses. Forgot about that part. Chapter 2 The Secret of Norwell All's well that Nor is well. Oh. The first I heard of the Mask of Chaos, it must have been about 18 years ago. I win again, Herschel. Guess that means you'll be going with me tonight. Randall, I told you, I'm not interested in archaeology. Stop with the nonsense, Herschel. What happened to your sense of adventure? You can't be serious. Yes, I'm very serious, Herschel. I'm going to make archaeological history tonight. Do you have any idea what this could mean? It'll be the find of the century, and you're coming with me. So what do you say there, old chum? You're in, right? Randall, I don't... Mm -hmm. Okay. This time will be different, Herschel. You won't regret it, I swear. Oh good, the flashback is playable. 
It's just like he said, he wasn't interested in archaeology. But back then, I wasn't interested in archaeology. Flashback. I told you, Randall, I'm not interested in archaeology. This time will be different, Herschel. You won't regret it, I swear. I've got a good feeling about this. I've heard that one before, Randall. I don't have time to go on another one of these silly expeditions of yours. It's Yuri, Yuri Lowenthal once again. How does he keep winding up in these games? I'm telling you, this is different, Herschel. It isn't some silly adventure. I think I might be onto something big this time. Bigger than oh, my really? neckerchief. Do tell. Something priceless. Something indescribable. Something beyond your wildest dreams, Herschel. All right, class. You've proven your legs work. Now please exercise your backsides and be seated. Is his last name Ascot? That's a genius. This man's nose is a smaller head with no facial features. You could very easily add a little face on that. <laughs> Just meet me tonight. Soon our names will be in all the papers. Yeah, his nose has You'll a jawline. Be the famous scholar Herschel Layton. Famous scholar Herschel Layton. Mm -hmm. Now that has a ring to it. Can I get uh, hint coins in the past and time heist them? What? Look at that. 3D! Oh, I think I prefer my own desk near the front. There's more mischief at the back of the class. Reoccurring on Carolina Horror Podcast, Old Gods of Appalachia. Nice. Nice. I got a tiny fountain pen. That I'm time heisting back to the present. The sun always gets in my eyes, if only there were curtains. It's curtains for you, Leighton. Meh. Today's weather is perfect for exploring. A clock puzzle? That clock never seems to tell the right time, nor does my watch, for that matter. What was that puzzle Randall was going on about? Hmm. Time puzzle. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. Yep. Four people are talking at the end of a very enjoyable evening party. Comparing watches, they realize that none of them have the correct time. My watch is always 20 minutes slow. This old thing is 10 minutes slow. I set mine five minutes fast. Mine's 10 minutes fast. What time is it? Yeah, um, well... Um... Again, they're not labeled, so you have to figure out which one is which. Um. Is it uh, no? Maybe one twenty-five. One twenty-five. Five. I think this may be it. Oh. Looks as if I got it. I thought I got it wrong. That's that's young Herschel's excited face. <laughs> oh. The answer is 3.33. It's 1.25 in the morning. It was a nice evening. It's time to go to bed. Some party. Does a very panic. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's not used to being right. <laughs> what? Time may wait for no man, but it seems I must wait for time. Sit down, Herschel. Uh. Welcome back, Rosebud. Ah, good, you're all seated. Perhaps there is hope for the future. I'm sure everyone did the reading from Donald Runledge's groundbreaking book, Ancient Histories, correct? So everyone already knows that Rutledge searched several archaeological, site, archaeological sites which he believed shared similar origins. Of course, we all know we found a common factor linking these sites, which was... The previously unknown Azran civilization. Years later, we have barely scratched the surface of the Azran and the wonders they left behind. Rutledge's breakthrough sparked a boom in the field of archaeological research, but you already know that, of course. Here on page 13, we see an incomplete journal entry from one excavation. Leighton, what do you make of this? Let me take a look, sir. Get a puzzle. Man. The Scrimble Bunblow. 
These explorers each found a unique object at a different depth in the ruins. Use the following statements to film the facts about each artifact, its material, and its depth. One, the dolls made of wood. B, two, B, two, B. Dug 100 centimeters deeper than D, who found something made of stone at 50 centimeters deep. And I made a blue tinge metal was found deeper down in the wooden one. Pause made of sandy clay. The coin was found in a shower place in the sword. Done. Easy. Um. Oh, God. Oh. Um. Yeah, no. All right. The doll is made of wood. Wood. Wo is that wood? That must be wood. B dug 100, 100 centimeters deeper than D. Who found something made of stone at 50 centimeters deep. So D was stone at 50. And B was 100 centimeters deeper. Done. Okay. Uh, and I made a blue tinged metal was found deeper down than the wooden one. So this was the blue metal. And that was sand. The pot is made of sandy clay. Is that the sandy clay? The coins found a shower place than the sword. So this. Done! Here goes. Puzzles can be quite fun. Wow, a sword! Correct. Quite a successful expedition. Bum, 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 bum. The coin was made of stone? Yeah, all the coins were made of stone. Some old ones. I didn't think that was possible. Good work, Layton. Now sit. Want to see the incorrect answer face? I'm sure we will. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I will. Let's move on. One of Rutledge's most interesting discoveries was the stone circle of Pyrnoth. Pyrnoth. Pyrnoth was theorized to be a primitive holy site. She gave him a square of her voice. No. Some rather unique artifacts were discovered there. These artifacts were the basis for a complex comparative study by the noted biologist Doris Pompatus. She theorized that these ancient peoples exhibited heightened intelligence as well as an elaborate language. Furthermore, though through extensive fossil analysis, she proved that Earth once had an entirely different ecosystem. Fossils have a way of telling a story. Would anyone care to show me how? Sir, let me do it, please. All right, Ascot. Let's see if your ability matches your enthusiasm. It's a random puzzle. These are some good-looking fossils. Bite of bygone days. Oh. This fossil was found on a riverbed. Close examination revealed tooth marks, suggesting it was formed when some kind of ancient fish bit into something tasty. A rock. Can you tell which one of the fish pictured in the book made these tooth marks? Um... Uh... Ah. Uh. Listen to this, Herschel. This is fucking nerd. <laughs> Every puzzle has an answer. Hmm, let me think about this puzzle. Herschel's like, uh, oh shit, I got it right. Oh fuck. The shape of the teeth are is irrelevant. Looking at the bite mark, you can see that only three pairs of front teeth made an impression. Only a fish without any back teeth could have made these marks. Look at this yellow submarine ass fish. Yeah, I don't remember a lot about Randall. Impressive ascot. I see you've done your homework on this topic. With all due respect, sir, my brain barely broke a sweat. If your brain is sweating, you should see a doctor immediately, Randall. I am due a bit more respect than that. Ascot's endless confidence will be on the final exam, so do take note of it. Ringo better start running. In the town. Moving on, our, an our ancient forefathers created many wonders here in England, of which we've only found the smallest handful. Most of these marvels were crushed beneath the heel of time but their legacies remain in various forms. Sir, oh, Mr. Collins, ooh, ooh. The lavatory passes on my desk, ask, my desk, Ascot. No, sir, it's not that this time. I was wondering if you've heard of the Mask of Chaos. Yes, Ascot, I'm also aware of the Rosetta Stone in the mythology of the Holy Grail, if you're checking my qualifications. According to Rutledge, the Mask of Chaos was imbued with magical powers. Do you think it actually exists, sir? I find it unlikely that such a sought-after artifact filled with magical powers would go unfound for this long. If I thought such treasures were still waiting to be found, I would be out looking for them rather than here lecturing you all. That being said, even if its existence and power were somehow proven, it would take a master archaeologist to find it. 
So, Ascot, if you're done with your series of irrelevant questions, perhaps I can continue teaching you relevant answers. Yes, sir, of course, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, Randall, sheesh. Since you're so keen to show off your formidable intellect, Ascot, you can solve the next problem, too. I want to fuck this one up to see what you do. Ah, uh, you can't fuck it up. Fix the fossil. Sheesh. Here's a fossil. It's been broken into nine pieces. Been restored once before, but let's just say one of the tr teachers is a bit clumsy. It used to be a three by three square. Can you put it all back together? Since it's quite fragile, you can only move three pieces at a time, horizontally or vertically. Put it back together in the center of the grid when it's complete. Oh, no. Uh, bah, bah. oh. Um. Oh. It's, it's like the worst kind of sliding block puzzle. Um, so that's the bottom. Oh. Dear, oh me, oh my. So that needs to go there. And then that's the bottom. Oh no. Oh no. Ladies and gentlemen. Looks like you're bad at this. Uh, you... This is what Randall deserves, but I don't deserve this, surely. Okay. This is... something? And then... Like that, that does go... Th fuck. How in the hell? How in the absolute... Hell do you? Is this- is this guy- I mean, I'm pointing. Is this guy the bottom left corner? I do not know. Doesn't seem to be. Or isn't it? <clears throat> what I do need to do is try... Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Ye gods. I- I- Okay. Alright, so... Hmm. This, this is, um... <laughs> this is the puzzle that I deserve, Yoli. Absolutely. I, uh, buh, 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 buh. So, how do I flip these to different sides? Y yeah? Okay, I got that guy where I want him, but now everything on the right is fucked. How do you do? How do- how do you do? Th this is actually breaking my brain. Uh, like- like everything I've ever learned about slide puzzles, which is not enough. Has not prepared me for this. Oh! I guess I'll go make dinner. Yeah, go- go take a break, everyone. Uh, maybe go up and stretch. Go, like, make dinner. Come back in, like, an hour. Um, I- you're not even- I, this, there you go. You need, you need to be able to really see what I'm struggling with. Um... Uh, uh, oh. Gah. It's like my brain doesn't understand how to move a single thing over. It's just kind of... Like, you have to slide multiple times to move a thing. I'm bad at Rubik's Cubes, too. Slide puzzles should just have a skip option. This may call for puzzle- Wait, there is puzzle music! Uh, ooh, you, ooh, you, ooh. Why can't I just pick them up? It's fragile, so we're just gonna have you make it worse by causing a lot of friction between sliding pieces. Uh. Okay, 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 so th this is the bottom left. How do I move that over? Uh, uh, just, just break it off and slide it over. I don't even know how I got to this point. I don't even know how I did this. It's a skill issue. It's 100% skill issue. Okay, let me think. I need, I, what I need is this. Now it's... Now it's... Uh, uh, ugh, fucking... It's like, I don't want to shuffle the thing, I just want to move... I, but it's like, I need to move... other things over. 
You can't just move a thing around. It has to be like you have to shuffle it up and then like move it over. Uh, I don't, hints aren't gonna help me. They're just gonna be like, oh, I'll slide it around. You got this. Be patient. Oh my god, I made it worse. Or did I? No, I did. I definitely made it worse. Oh my god. So... I think I just need to... Just see what happens when I slide things around. Wait, that's where that was. Done. That looks so much better, doesn't it? I'm gonna restart. Actually, I'm not gonna restart. You can't undo a restart. That's fine. What? How exciting! Just leave it to me. What? What? You can solve it in like two. St you can solve it in four moves. You can solve it right from the beginning. I did unearth ruin. How did you know? How did you know? All right, I see that you've been sufficiently dazzled by the marvels of science enough for one day. Class dismissed. Wow, that just flew by. Cranky Collins is a grump, but he knows how to give a lecture. What is that you are pestering him about? Aha! Curious, are you? We- a uh, uh, fucking time heist robot. Curious as to why you would provoke the person who controls your grade, yes. Well, come over to my house later tonight and I'll explain everything. Don't make me the bad guy, Herschel. I hate withholding information from you. Randall, honestly. Sometimes I just don't understand you at all. And so goes the price of genius. Just meet me at my place after dinner, okay? Alright. Mr. Collins doesn't have the toughest lessons. Did you copy down what was on the board? I committed it to memory as soon as he wrote it, for I'm a boy genius. Better keep up, Herschel. Mr. Collins, can I ask you something? You just did, Ascot. Boom! Sir, you don't believe the Mask of Chaos is just a myth, do you? Ah, Ascot, if only your grasp of English were as strong as your obstinance. I'm sorry, but we can discuss this another time. But sir, what makes you so sure the mask wasn't just lost all these years? Sir, are you... Are you okay with your glasses there, sir? I'm fine, they're just... Not sitting right upon my schnoz. Right? And... Hip. Just gotta readjust them real quick. Yep. Right there. Sir, do you have eyes? You mean besides the fact that it has never been found? You're a good student, Ascot. Try to put more thought into hard archaeology rather than fantastic speculation. But sir, you're an expert in the field. Have you really never considered that the Mask of Chaos might actually be real? I know just as much as any other Azran scholar. Do spare me the fan club flattery. If you're that interested, Ascot, you should read some researchers other than Rutilage on the matter of the Azran civilization. If the Mask of Chaos was real, and I stress if, it was most certainly lost eons ago. So what would happen if I were to find the mask today? Besides becoming an overnight legend and receiving superstar status, status as an archaeological prodigy? Not much. Look, Ascot, I can't stop you from being interested in the mask. However, please don't interrupt my class over it anymore. Understood. I'm very sorry, sir. I do appreciate your time. If you do happen to find the mask, be sure to mention that you're my student. I could always use some publicity. Now go home! Yes, sir. I'm gonna give you every motivation to go seek this dangerous object. Goodbye. Uh, oh yeah, it didn't lock. We'll do it later. I gotta try some rabbit moves. I don't wanna do that while I'm in flashback mode, though. A bit of sunlight certainly makes the place brighter. You can see the sunset from here. It seems wrong to look in other people's lockers. They're not likely to contain any treasure. I did it! The Mask of Chaos! 
was in Herschel's locker. You walk. Sir. Mm -hmm. Oh! An umbrella puzzle. That umbrella's been lying there for years. I never thought I'd feel pity for an umbrella. Huh. Chaos. Oh, God. You got fucked up. Busted umbrella. A friend of yours is having a bit of trouble in a shop. A sudden gust of wind broke my umbrella. It was my favorite, too. I was hoping to buy a new one with the exact same pattern. Design. All the umbrellas here look pretty similar, so it's hard to find one that matches my broken one. Which umbrella should he pick? So it's got no pattern on the inside, which just rules out E. What else can I know about it? It's got a round, grabby bit. So it's A or B. And, um... Dum ba dum ba dum bum ba dum ba ba dum ba dum bum bum ba dum bum bum. I think it's A. No, A's got a hard round. No, it's got to be C. No, it's got. No, it has to be B. Why? Wait a sec. Cause it's it's the 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 grabby bit is round and has like a knobbly brown bit above it, which is either uh, B or E. But we can see there's nothing on the flip side. It's B. This is B. B. I'm B not for certain. umbrella. You forgot the Didn't word handle. Why well, it's the grabby bit of the umbrella. Correct. A's handle is different. C's handle has no decoration. D has more spokes. And E has a design on the inside as well as the outside. I thought about counting the spokes and was like, I don't want to count. I'm not, I'm not playing a puzzle game to count things. We'll bunder my umbrella. I'll leave the umbrella there. It's practically part of the scenery by now. Well, butter my umbrella and call me Bethany. But that umbrella is about broke. There are always tons of notices here, and I've never read one of them. You have to be a special kind of bored. From at least... I. <laughs> I'm not going to treat my experience as universal. But... To actually read the things on a board like that, you have to be like, I have to stand here and wait for someone. I might as well read what's on the board. But I would never be walking by and be like, ooh, what's that? If notices were important, they make them legible. Right? Why'd this hair man steal Leighton's face? That that man is Leighton. A young Leighton. Hello. Makes you read everything. Unless it have kitten. Oh, hello, Dalston. Hey, Brad Scott, off another adventure to find Camelot. Say hi to the dragons for me, you ninny. Archaeology is the study of our past. Even you must see the value in that, Dalston. You can't earn cash from the past. When are you gonna wake up to that? His name is Slayton. While you're digging up pottery, I'll be running my very own hotel. I'm gonna have more hotels than my old man. That archaeology stuff won't ever get you out of Stansbury, you know. I happen to like Stansbury, Dalston, but to London is really the only place to get a decent university degree in archaeology. Well, while you're studying ancient spoons, I'll be building my hotel empire. Wonderful. I'll always need a base of operations for my expeditions. He's trying to be mean to you, Randall. Kill him with kindness. The mean streets of Stansbury. It's simple, Hersh. Aren't you going to need your bag for study group tonight? <laughs> Angela! Hey, Randall! Did you get out of practice early today? Yes, Herschel and I have some important things to do. Everything looks good. We're done! Can you two wait a minute while I get my things? She's as radiant as ever. And she likes the most handsome chap in town. Too bad for you. <laughs> yeah, right, lady. Oh, Angela. Don't you take that from him, Herschel. Randall, is that any way to treat your best friend? Hmm? Best friend. Well, I suppose I could be a little nicer. But Herschel needs to stop running away from his future in archaeology. He doesn't look like he's running away. Perhaps he's just not interested. Thank you. I think I can change that. I've got something very special to show the two of you. Ah, uh, not again. What is it now? 
the mask of chaos. Why am I not surprised? Randall, what is it about this fairy tale that has captured your imagination? Always the skeptic. <laughs> That's all right. At least I won today's fencing match, which means that tonight we do what I want to do, correct? <laughs> Eight o'clock, right, Herschel? Angela, you too. To the future <laughs> that awaits. Nothing's gonna break our friendship. I doubt I'll be able to talk Randall out of this latest nonsense. I should probably get some studying done while I can. The school looks unremarkable, but it's steeped in history. Mmm, steep. A triumphant emblem. Ain't nothing tragic's gonna happen today. I read about lightning rods the other day. I'm gonna be a lightning rodologist. Leave the bits for that. Oh. Um. Before I get to that, John One Ch, thanks for 16 months. Luke Guns of the Patriots. Yeah. I don't know why. Blayton and MGS. There, there's potential there. Tiny Possum, thanks for the prime. Welcome. Hope you enjoy the emotes. Empty Librarian, thanks for 37 months. This resub reminds me of a puzzle. Thanks for all the good content, Bill. Thank you. In fact, it's Since you're playing Layton, I'm curious if you've ever heard or heard of or played Rhythm Thief and the Emperor's Treasure. It's like Layton game, both instead of puzzles, it's rhythm games. Soundtrack's a bop, and I recommend it. Well, people in chat are already mentioning it, but yeah, I played it for the first time back in January, just two months ago. Because uh, the, the 3DS eShop is shutting down soon, and I'm not going to do everything, but I've been accepting recommendations. And uh, a lot of people yelled at me about checking out Rhythm Thief. So the VODs are on my, my VOD channel. If you are interested in checking it out, it's uh, it's something. <laughs> it is something. I did enjoy it. It's, it's got some jank, and it's a bummer we never got another one in the series, but I did have fun with it. We are, we are intimately familiar. There's our classroom. It's nothing special. A town of automatons? That's absurd. Why, that's about as likely as time travel being really real. Really, really real. Or finding a coin in the shrub. Alright, whoa. Wait. Did I just hear it do a thing? There was. Shit, alright. Yeah, I went to shrub bucks. Randall's fencing skills are improving. I'll need some practice for our next match. Perhaps I'll do a bit of research on fencing techniques before dinner. I'll have to eat a book about fencing for dinner. It's been almost three years since we moved to Stansbury. Three years. Three. And this is the first game for the 3DS. Cycling down from school is so fun. Cycling up to skill Absolute bullshit. Nothing beats a good read with rushing water in the background. Makes you have to pee. The the like fake cursor stuff works fine. I do wish I could use the D-pad or a button to select. Because my, my thumb just, like, automatically rests on the D-pad as I'm, you know, I'm right-handed. So it'd be like, oh, that's the thing, and tap, like, up on the D-pad. Because when you tap, sometimes it moves a little bit. And just some, some of the hitboxes are a little bit tiny. I don't know. This village looks nice, I know. Whenever I see, like, uh, the British-style villages, I'm like, it looks so nice and relaxing and quaint. And everyone I've ever talked to who's from one of those villages is like, it fucking sucks. And I spent my entire life trying to get out. <laughs> I'm like, that's fair. <laughs> it looks it looks nice from afar, though. Hello, mother. I'm home. Herschel, dear, thank goodness you're here. Can you come here for a moment? Mom Layton with a giant hat. Come on. What is it? Is something wrong? Mother? Maybe he was raised by a giant talking puzzle. This sofa's so comfy, I always fall asleep as soon as I sit down. She's a ghost, of course. 
All I know about this is that it was taken by somebody famous. I'm not saying I want to move the cursor to the D-pad. I'm saying I want to select with the D-pad. Or with the face buttons. So you just slide it around, and then you're like, Oh, I want to I wanna zoom in. You can just use your other hand instead of having to tap. Tapping should be an, an option, but I think it's just... It's like you slide it where you want to go, and then you're basically selecting. But I should stay focused. That I should. Uh, I saw the zoom. We'll do that in a sec. Yeah, because like the hint coins tend to be kind of smaller. These documents seem pretty boring. Boo. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ha, whoa. Ha, be, ha, whoa. Ha. She's practicing her kung fu. She's got the moves. Somebody's making jam. She's getting down. She's doing the club penguin dance. A glass of fruit juice in the morning is a perfect way to start the day. Hmm, what does this bottle say? It's a puzzle. Oh no. That's juicy. The owner of a juice factory wanted to send a gift to three important customers to make sure no one was offended. They were all given 18 liters of juice, but there weren't enough of each bottle size to make the shipments identical. Still, the owner was able to make up three shipments of 18 liters using different sets of small, medium, and large bottles. Can you work out how many liters of juice in each each size of bottle holds? All the sizes are whole numbers, by the way. So you got a big one, a medium one, and a little one. And they all add up to, to, to 18. And it's puzzle 18. Shit. Is my juice expired? Who needs 18 liters of juice, right? Um... So, uh, let's say that the big one is, uh, uh, if it's six for the big boy, then this is 12, and then plus these little guys, there's six more makes 18, so maybe the little guys are one, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, this is six, one, two, three, four, uh, but, but, so these are three each? Does that work out? It's nine, so 15, six, 17, yeah. So six, three, and one. Please be right, I don't want to use my brain. Why do I keep playing puzzle games when I, I don't like using my brain? It. It's juice algebra. Looks as if I got it. That's right. That's a lot of juice. Fifty-four percent poo. I can't decide which juice is my favorite. Mmm, juice. Uh, oh. What is it? Oh. Okay, ma'am? What's the hubbub? Oh, Herschel, your father. He's... He's... Mother, please, just hold still for a moment and tell me what happened. He's gone, Herschel. Some strange men said they wanted to see you, and then they just took your father away. Your father said they were friends of his, but I'd never seen them before. He looks so nervous, Herschel. Oh, where could they have taken your father? Mother, let's not jump to any conclusions. I'll go look for him. Oh, thank you, Herschel. I'll stay here in case he calls. Don't worry, Mother. I'm sure he's fine. I shall return presently. Do be careful. If anything happens, just cry out as loudly as you can. I'll be listening. I certainly hope it won't come to that. Oh my god. The uh, Well. Hmm. Dadton has been kidnapped. You must have solved eight puzzles in order to talk to your father. Uh. Hmm. Dad? Father's probably just chatting over on Pebble Lane with his friends. It's in my ears and in my eyes. Pebble Lane. Pe pebble? Pe pebble? Pe pe pebble. Getting water out of that pump is tough work. F fuck yeah. Woo yeah, woo. Did it. Fuck it. Layton pops up and just says, Bucket. 
I want this to get extremely dark and gory. Mm -hmm. This is before the, the werewolf attack. This needs a trim. Just like you, Leighton. Boom, bam, bow. Got him. Esther's house always has the... Always, it looks the same as it always has. Same as it ever was. Same as it ever was. Same as it ever was, Luke. When did these flowers come into bloom? Who's Luke, Leighton? I don't know. It just felt right to say Luke. Yeah. Ma'am? Yeah, let him say fuck. Wanna play Sea Thief again sometime? Yes, Viz. No, oh, one time. Oh, Herschel, my boy, where are you going? I, I'm looking, I'm looking at her side eye. She's got a very powerful side eye. I'm looking for my father, actually. Have you seen him by any chance? No, I haven't seen Roland. Sorry. Lucille must be so worried. I'm sure everything is fine, though. You're a good son, Herschel. Before you leave, can I trouble you to help out an old lady for a moment? These ladybugs on the corn cob are, well, you should take a look. Justice stole his Luke. Oh. Spinning maze. Two ladybug friends, one red and one blue, have lost each other on this corn cob. Wherever they go, the corn kernels seem to get between them. Can you guide the red ladybug around the corn cob and meet its blue friend? Tap, touch, screen, make the ladybug change direction, hold down, stop, make the ladybug walk in that direction. Okay. This is very cute. Whoa. Oh, oh. Shit, it's dead end. My god, it's 3D. I'm keep going around this way. Um, cool. That's that. Alright, alright, okay. Bug Tona. Oh, let's go. Ah, shoot. That guy, dang it. This one. Here we go. This is this is it for sure. Over over here, and then yep, there it is. Here we go. Yay! My friend, I think this may be it. I was thinking about Daytona, and then I heard Daytona. When aren't you thinking about Daytona? On stuff. When aren't you? Oh, there you go. From the point of view of a ladybug, a corn cob must seem like an impenetrable maze. Day slow enough. Ladybug bug snacks. Hmm. I got a new shop aisle, crockery. Oh, thank you, Herschel. Now I can eat the rest of my corn in peace. That's really all an old lady wants. If I see Roland, I'll be sure to mention that you're looking for him. Thank you, Esther. You'll be sure not to go running around with any scissors, Herschel. Why would I? That woman will always see me as a child. Where was I? Oh, yes, Pebble Lane. Pebble. P Pebble. Oh, hello there, Henry. Herschel. Out shopping, are you? I am procuring the week's groceries for the household, yes. I see. Do you need any help? I can manage fine, thank you. And where are you off to, if I may ask? Oh, I'm looking for my father. You haven't seen him, have you? No, I'm afraid I haven't. I'm sorry I cannot be of assistance. No apologies necessary, Henry. Good chatting with you, Henry. Well, then... I suppose I'll be on my way, then. Yes, and I as well. I wish you luck. Man. Things are going great with- Who is this man? Oh, he's got a puzzle in his pocket. Hello there, Herschel. Looking well, me boy. Good evening, Lionel. I saw that scrawny friend of yours, Henry. Shopping for the Ascots, they sure make him pull his weight. What a little of it there is. <laughs> I could never be a servant like him. My accent's changing too often. I'm too independent. Mother told me to fix her garden wall, and I'm doing it by myself. Mm hmm. Oh, man, numbers! Let's go. Nine red bricks. 
Lionel is contemplating a row of nine bricks for his mother's garden wall. Two adjacent bricks in the row are much heavier than the rest, but he can't remember which. He's decided the only way to identify them is to lift the bricks one by one, but to save time, he wants to do it in the most efficient way possible. Can you work out the maximum number of bricks he might need to lift in order to find the two heavy ones? What? Uh -huh. I don't know. Uh, I'm always really bad at these kinds of puzzles. There is a very sus man staring over the... over the garden wall. In the top left corner. I did not notice at first. Not nine, nine, twelve brick. I know the answer is stupid. It's always stupid. Two adjacent bricks are much heavier than the rest. So if you pick up every other one... So one, two, three, four. And then with five, you could determine which is on which side. So I'm saying it's five. Because four would give you every other one. One of those would be heavy. And then you do... I guess would it be... No, you don't... Because it would be, it would be four. No, because even if you start with two, it could still be... One and two, because it's two adjacent bricks. So you do every other one, which is four, and then the fifth one to do one side of the one that's heavy. And then that tells you if it's that one that's heavy or the other one. So you don't need to do a six to confirm it. So it's five. It has to be five. Fuck you. It's five. Here goes. It's not five, is it? <laughs> ah! Oh, I thought maybe. No! That's, that is efficient. Not minimum. Ma the maximum would be not. Is it nine? How the. If you pick wrong on that last one, it, that doesn't make sense. The maximum number of bricks he might need to lift in order to fit. The maximum number would be nine. But he wants to do it in the most efficient way possible. So this the question sucks. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to throw hint coins at this, because it's garbage. It's uneven, so at least eight? If you list two, four, and six, you don't get any heavy ones. If you list two, four, and six, and you don't get any heavy ones, then it's gotta be... seven, eight, or n two of those three. It's eight? Why is it eight? It's not eight. Three. Probably three. Well, if ninth is the heaviest and or lightest, there's two that are heavy together. You're not just looking for the one heaviest one. Just want me to point out. Seven. Oh, fucking... The key here is the fact that the two heavy bricks are next to each other. For example, if Lionel lifted bricks two and four, if they weighed the same, which bricks could he rule out? That's why I started with a lower number, because you go every other one. Let's say Lionel lifted two and four, four is heavier. The adjacent heavy brick would be three or five. He could find out which by lifting just one of them. If two and four weighed the same, he could rule out bricks one, one to four. Y yes. Less than five. They are adjacent five and seven. What? Am I misunderstanding? I thought I thought they meant there's two in a row that are heavy. Two adjacent bricks in the row are much heavier than the rest, but he can't remember which. That means two in a row. What? Let's carry from hint two. If bricks two and four weigh the same, Lionel could try lifting six. If that one was heavier, the other heavy brick would have to be five or seven. He could determine which by lifting either brick for a total of four lifts. What would he do if six wasn't a heavy brick? He would lift another for five, which was what I first guessed. It's four, but it's very clever. It's four? I'm gonna try four. Because that would make me mad if it's true. Here goes. How? Puzzles can be quite fun. How is it for? He might start by lifting bricks two, four, and six. If one of them is heavier, he can lift a neighboring brick. If that brick isn't also heavy, he knows the one on the other side is. If none, 
out of two, four, and six are heavier than the rest, he can simply lift nine. If nine is heavier, eight must be other heavy brick. If nine isn't heavier, it has to be seven and eight. Okay, that's pretty good. What is happening in the background? So there was a twist at the end. Because you lift two, four, and six. If you rule all those out, you don't lift up eight and then check between seven or nine. You just lift nine. If it's heavy, it's eight and nine. If it's light, it's seven and eight. That is pretty good. That's also not what maximum means. <laughs> I'm not- I'm not that mad. That's- that's not a bad puzzle. I- I- I feel like maybe it could've been phrased... ...a little bit better. I think what they meant by maximum was that if it was minimum, you could lift, like, two, and those could be the two heavy ones, if you were lucky. But it's like, what's the maximum number of bricks you need to... ...pick up in the most efficient manner... ...to check? Assume you get the worst luck possible. That, that, right. Because the maximum would be nine, because th there's nine bricks. Operative word is need. The operative word is efficient, I think. Right, clever. Thanks, sir. Feels good to get things done on my own. Happy to help. Good luck with the wall. I've no luck, only know-how. Know-how is knowledge, not know-how is not being able to do something, that is. I like this little guy. Lionel is all right. The smell of coffee is fine, but I rather enjoy the aroma of tea. Wonderful. All the information a coffee lover could wish for. Good. I need to recover my hint coins. Mother sneaks vegetables into everything. How dare she. Can't believe I spent hint coins on that puzzle. Fluorescent honey. Now hold on. If I was handed some honey and it was glowing, I would probably just eat it. That sounds cool though. Uh, I, I keep meaning to not back to map. Done. I'd eat that honey. Yeah, right. Uh, this is a good round, gentlemen. Uh. No. I like coming here for a cup of tea and some homemade biscuits. Some biscuits. Well, I expect the chicks have already flown the nest. It's like a metaphor for me coming of age or something. You there! Where could father have gone to? Now I'm starting to get a little worried. Ahoy there, Herschel. Why the worry? Have you seen my father, Doug? Roland? No, I can't say I have. But while you're here, Herschel, woo! How about a hand with this puzzle, eh? Well, I can't say it to my father. It is perhaps in imminent danger, but ooh. I'm puzzled about houses. A lick of paint. The prospective tenants of this row of houses have some unusual requirements. One, I want to live next to a red house. Two, no blue neighbors, please. Oh, and a house on the end is out of the question. So they need to be in the blue house. T uh, th three, two doors down from a yellow house, no neighbors, same color as us. Four, I'm fine with any color as long as it's not blue or red. House racism. Can you repaint just one house so that every tenant can have their dream home? Touch a house to change its color. Oh. I was like, I don't know if this is possible. Hold on. Which one are we repainting? I want to live next to a red house. No blue neighbors. House on the inside of the question. Two doors down from a yellow house. No neighbors the same color as us. But with any color as long as it's not blue or red. Okay. So four can go into the first one. Two doors down from your house, and no neighbors same color as us. So three can go into blue. No blue neighbors, please. A house name is out of the question. I live next to a red house. What if we paint the blue house red? Does that fix everything? No. Paint it yellow. Wait, but one once lived next to it. Wait, shit. 
I see a blue house, and I want it painted black. Well, next to a red house, yeah. No blue neighbors. House lanes out of the question. Come here. Two doors down from a yellow house. No neighbors the same color as us. So if the blue is red, then that doesn't work. But if it's yellow, does that work? I think so. Fine with any color as long as it's not blue or red. I live next to no blue neighbors. House lanes out of the question. I live next to a red house. No. Where does one go? I don't, I don't know. Blue, blue? What if you change the far right to yellow? Far right is yellow. Then... I don't know, next to a red house. No blue neighbors. House lanes out of the question. So they go in the blue house. Two doors down from yellow house. If the far right is yellow, then that means the second one can be two down from that. No neighbors some colors us. That's good. If I'm with any colors, lines not blue or red. I think that works. What if we demolish the houses? Let's try that. I'm not certain. I didn't realize that when you tap it, Did it changes it? to a specific color. That does make it make more sense. Never mind the cost of materials and labor, the landlord ought to charge all four of them for the time it took to work out which house to paint. No kidding. Darn Putin. Thanks, chat. Mail bunny? You truly are your father's son. By the way, what did you say you were up to? Father left the house earlier. Mother sent me out to look for him. Lucille's worried, eh? That's a new one. Ha! Well, if I see Roland, I'll let him know. Thank you, Doug. Well, time to head out to the woods. Hmm. Okay. Sure, that's fine. Oh. Sir? Yeah, yeah, well. Mother says they used to sell souvenirs here. Well, I'll be. Imagine if it's the Mask of Chaos. What are the chances? Feeble. Raise a glass to the Commodore. The Commodore 64. Telling the story of its bite. It had 64 kilobytes. Thank you, Luminous, for the handy. Very, very much obliged. Thank you. Um, Ulysses KPG gifted a sub to Maslawick for the third month. Welcome back. Enjoy your silver key. Thank you so much, Ulysses. Uh, Smash Brothers for 10 bits. Thumb a pizza tower. Noise. And Luminous Decibel, thanks for the hammy. Professor, why is the stinky man singing a silly song? Why, my dear Luke, I do believe it is some sort of code. Interesting indeed. I actually think it's just a parody of Cue the Music, It's Puzzle Time. Hope no one's made this joke yet. Thank you, Loomis. Not to my knowledge. No. Welcome. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. The mask is definitely going to be a sliding block puzzle, and I'm never going to solve it. Father! There you are. Why, hello, Herschel. And yes, here I am. Why are you so riled up about? Mother said that you were dragged away by a group of strangers. She's practically beside herself. Oh, your mother worries about the rising and setting of the sun. I told her those were some old friends. She didn't seem to think they were friends of yours. She also said they were actually looking for me. Oh, you were a baby when they last saw you. They wanted to see you all grown up. And as you can see, I escaped certain doom at the hands of my old mates. The case of the disappearing father is solved. Cut to the mystery screen. But what are you doing out here? Well, my mates wanted to see the Norwell Wall. If you don't know what you're looking for, it's not an easy thing to find. Father is an egg. They were sightseeing out here. I know it may seem hard to believe, but back when I back when that wall was first discovered, tourists streamed into our little town. They came in droves all year round, day and night, just to see the Norwell Wall. I can hardly imagine Little Stansbury being any sort of tourist attraction. No, there was quite a surge of interest in archaeology here. Scholars and researchers even started moving into town. They were hoping to decipher the writing on the wall. Some folks believed it held secrets to an unknown civilization. You're starting to sound like Randall. Yes, your friend Randall is rather charming and well-spoken, isn't he? Very intelligent, too. <laughs> Let's be off. If we keep your mother waiting any longer, we'll have to peel her off the ceiling with a garden rake. 
Uh, all right, let's go. All right, Dave. Okay. Head home with father. The name Randall? Randall? It, gr it rhymes with granddad. And therefore it is good. Oh man, they, well, it's gone. In the bottom left corner where there's a little Leighton going up and down, they did add his dad next to him. Little Pixar dad. Mother, guess who I found? Sorry to make you worry, Lucille, dear, but I didn't, did I, didn't I tell you those gents were friends of mine and not to fret? Well, I didn't know you'd be gone all day, did I? You just disappeared. My work here is done. If you'll excuse me, mother, I'll be in my room. Good boy. Are we in a flashback pre-hat? We are indeed. I'll call you when dinner's ready, dear. He's just a little guy. Ah, oh, my favorite books are on the top shelf. Mm. Perhaps we should check the bulb. Bulb. Oh. Oh. Crayon drawing of his parents. It's very cute. Quite clean here. Well done, Layton. Oh. There's a puzzle hidden here. Randall must have put it here the last time he was over. That dastardly, dastardly Randall. Oh no, poke him totems. Who's responsible for this mess? Each of these columns should be three blocks high and have a totem head on top. The heads are arranged from left to right in the order yellow, blue, green, red. Your bunagrememberary. Can you use the mallet to shunt the blocks around and restore the columns to their original grandeur? Be careful though, you can never hit the top block in a column. Think carefully about which order to hit the blocks in. Slide the to touch screen and move the mallet to the top screen. Move the mallet over an arrow next to the block and highlight the arrow tap the touch screen and hit the block slide over. Can you get all the blocks in place here? Uh, um, yeah. Yeah, what was it? Uh, um, yellow, blue, red. Ble yellow, blue, green, red. So, um... Hmm. Uh, mm. Blue. Wait, shit. Undo. Fucked it up. They're three high. So do that, and then do that. And then do this. And then this. Are they three high? Three blocks high with the totem head on top. So it's four blocks high. Good. No, 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 I'm good. Like the hammer twirl? Yeah. It's cute. Um, three blocks plus the top. Yeah. So, if I do like this, then that do. Wait, shit. Was it? Wait, green then right. Wait, no, we're good. Every. I can't hit the top block. Wait, how do I move red over then? If I can't ever hit it. Can't I? You got it, yes. <laughs> I did it. Did I snatch victory? Did I snatch defeat from the jaws of victory? You gotta move the green one uh, with one on it? Well, it doesn't slide, but it just knocks it out. It doesn't slide with anything on top of it. Defeat. This at least seems like it's close. Um, I don't, maybe? That doesn't seem right. Hmm. Hmm. 
I did. Look, I did. Oh, it shows in the the top right corner what it's supposed to look like. I'm like sitting here like, it's green then red. So, okay, how do I move red over? If I, if I can't hit the top, then how do I move it? How do I move it to move it? You're getting, you are close. Unless it's like some kind of, get another block on top of it. But how do I get a block on top of it without going lower than four high? A Japanese toy called the Daruma Otoshi. You knock the lower blocks out of the tower without assuming the upper ones. Oh, nice. That's pretty cool. Push with another block. Hmm. I need it. I need it. Maybe, maybe before I do that, let me just try lowering it down as best I can. I don't think I can get anything on top of it. Why is this hard? Um, you had it last move was wrong. I did have it? Before? I'm not seeing it. Well, let me, um... So close. Okay, it can is it solvable from here? <laughs> You're two moves off, you just hit green wrong. Hit green wrong? Oh... Uh, oh, uh, that's, that's, that's what I needed. That's that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 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 all right. All right. Okay. All right. Puzzles can okay. be quite fun. All right. Oh! They seem happy. Or do they? Yeah, they seem happy. He must have sneaked this in while I wasn't looking. Oh, Randall. Wow, Randall's really serious about getting me into these puzzles. It won't work, though. The day that I, Herschel Layton, like puzzles is the day I am dead. I suppose I should do some studying. Old Cranky Collins may be planning to spring something on us tomorrow. Hmm. You know, Randall was so worked up today. Even more so than usual. He seems quite sure about this treasure he's talking about. Come to think of it, he and Dalston were arguing about deciphering some old map the other day. Randall never did tell me what that was about. Maybe he is onto something. Randall must really be getting to me. Still, it would really be something if we discovered an ancient artifact. Oh, sure. Dinner's ready. Well, there will be plenty of time to daydream later on. I was waiting for, like, crack of thunder. That night. How was school, son? Unearth any fine jewels of knowledge today? Well, I learned a thing or two about fencing from Randall today. Have they decided yet which one of you will be going to the tournament? No, but there won't be much of a choice if I have anything to say about it. Finish your grotty pudding, dear. It will give you extra strength for partying. Sorry, I just need to... Um... Gro... Gro... Grotty... Pudding. Grotty pudding, also known as grody dick, is a traditional dish from the black country in England. God bless the Brits. Yum yum. <laughs> I mean, spotted dick is spotted pudding. Get a mouthful of that grody dick. Made from soaked groat. Groats are whole kernels of various cereal grains, such as oat, wheat, rye, and barley. So it's soaked groats, beef, leeks, onion, and beef stock, baked together at moderate temperature of approximately 150 degrees Celsius for up to 16 hours. In the black country, it's traditional to eat grody pudding on Guy Fox night. It is mentioned as a local staple by Samuel Jackson Pratt in 1805, who was a prolific English poet, dramatist, and novelist. Good old grotty dick. Why, Herschel? Are you alright? You haven't had a spot of your grotty dick yet. I'm quite famished. Thank you. I shall. 
Brits, we love that dick. Is your dick groaty? Does it wobble to and fro? Finish your groaty pudding, dear. It's parrying, mother, not partying. And no thank you, I actually have to get going. Didn't know exactly what they're doing. You'll have to ask the English. I don't know. You sure, son? There might not be any left once I get to it. That's quite all right. I told Randall I'd meet him after dinner. May I be excused? A bit late for parry parrying, isn't it? Ha, huh, yes, we'll just be studying, mother. Well, don't stay out too late. We've had enough drama with missing persons lately. Or uh, today. Dinner was delicious. See you later. The dick was to die for. Thank you. I'll be off now. But first the puzzle. Off to Randall's. I hope the ascots don't mind your showing up this late. Oh, it's fine. I know that Randall's fond of puzzles. Show him this one if you think about it. My dick is undercooked, sir. This was cooked for a scant 140 degrees Celsius. Fairway fibber. Four golfers named Mr. Black, Mr. White, Mr. Brown, and Mr. Spotted Dick were competing in a tournament. The caddy didn't know which one was which, so she asked three of them. One of them, Mr. Brown, told her a lie. A, B is Mr. Black, B, I'm not Mr. Blue, C, Mr. White, that's D. Who was Mr. Blue? Um... Yeah, well, that's a common thing in the latent games. They have, like, a cast of characters that show up in the puzzles. And they tend to be different each game. It's a cute idea, Mr. Blue Sky. She has three of them. One of them, Mr. Brown, told her a lie. Who is Mr. Blue? But we don't know who Mr. Brown is. So C said... Mr. White is D. B said I'm not Mr. Blue. B is Mr. Black. I... 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 I ooh. Um... Which, who is Kaiser Soze? I am Kaiser Soze and Spartacus. They also work backwards. If B is black, then that's white. Then that means one of them is brown, who told a fib. Which could be... Well, maybe C lied. Maybe C is brown, and D is blue. Wait. I don't fuck at them. It's definitely not B. No. I don't think so. Um D I think I mean C. <laughs> that's that's what's happening in my brain right now. It reaches a point where like it, I create this like circular logic in my brain of like, well this one's saying this and this is over here, and then I'm like, wait. I think I lost my spot. I mean, that's what notes are for. Where you could just, just, just draw it all around. And I'm, I'm too impatient to do that right now. Definitely a letter or a number, but not a shape. Could be. Yeah, the puzzle music is nice in this. It is, it is upbeat. Three. You think it's three? P is Mr. Black. I'm not Mr. Blue. Mr. White, that's D. Who is Mr. Blue? So if it's... Black, blue, black. Hmm. So it can't be A or B, I think. It might be C. I don't know. I'm gonna guess C. <laughs> I'm, I, I this is a guess. I don't know. My brain shut down. Damn it. I need another go at that one. Pay attention. No. That's not C. Can chat help? Yeah, chat can help. Thanks for asking. A and B must be telling the truth. Right. But if... If C is Mr. Brown lying, 
then they're lying about D, who might be Mr. Blue. Maybe A is white? D! Here goes. Zzz. Puzzles can be quite fun. They can be so much fun. His statement is false. D must be Mr. Blue. Ooh. Uh. I was too polite to stop. No, if I didn't want hints, I, I would be very explicitly saying so. But I don't. I I feel like part of this is is is. I mean, all I ask is if 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 you happen to have just played this game like yesterday and you remember and you're like, oh, I know the answer before we even start, then I just ask you don't say anything, and maybe provide a hint if asked for and and needed. But everyone else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You help me struggle and we can all stumble through these together. Tricked every lane puzzles with portal gun. God, portal gun would make this so much easier. Father, please, I've had enough puzzles for one day. When you get older, you won't be able to get enough puzzles. Mark my words. It'll happen to you. Does she have a puzzle? She has a puzzle, god damn it. Hey, legendary anime JP fan too. Welcome. How you doing? The morally correct thing is to spam three. Yeah, because it's always three. Hello, dear. Weren't you going out? I just realized I left something behind. You'd forget your hair if it wasn't attached to your head. But since you're here, have a look at this apron with me. Apron is code for puzzle. Oh, God. Oh, yep. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. That's good. No, that's good. I wonder if you can solve this riddle. I folded up my dear old apron in three different ways. It makes the flower pattern look different each time. See? Can you tell me which, what the pattern will look like when I unfold the apron? Put the flowers on the apron. Easy. Uh, well. Well, the corner is like this. Oh, wait. That's, that's if the, these two go together. Because that's like if this guy is folded over to there, that makes A. Is what it seems to me. And then folding it in half, like a that, is, is and there's one more here. And then the corner, which is... So you have one... One on the edge, one on the, the corner, like that. How... Hmm... Hmm? How does C work? Oh, is the whole thing folded in half? Is it just that? I was trying to do it into like a, like a, like a little quadrant. But it is quite big. I think you just fold it in half. Is that right? Ma'am? I'm not certain. Sweet. Well, I'm hardly surprised. He fell into a hole! Okay, what did I fuck up then? Hmm. Triangle. Try force? No, no, no. Triangle. I failed you, mum. Hmm. 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 Look at where the tie is. That's what I was doing. I just messed up somewhere. So for A, I was thinking you fold up the bottom half and then fold the, the remaining half over. And then it's just spun around. So that's why I got those three in the top left. And then for B, you just fold it the half up. It's before you fold it again for A. Which is how I got the one at three o'clock. And then for C, you fold the whole thing halfways, but that's not right. Yeah, this game's 10 or 11 years old, so maybe that- is that guy not right? For be the straps are on the other side that you can't see. Is that why they're darker? That's on the back side? So th why... Turn it 90 degrees. B is the bottom half folded up, not the top half. Okay, so it's, it's, it's this then? 
But then how does A work with that? Does A still work with that? Rotate it or flip it? Because this should... This works for B. Right? Yeah. Does it need to be mirror flipped? I don't know. I don't know. Vertical mirror. Well, what I what I did here is a vertical mirror. And then and then and then it's that. Let's put a smiley face. Delay. No worries. I mean, uh huh? I think this may be it. Nope. I need another go at that one. I think the diagonal is southeast. The thing is with C, there's only two whole flowers visible. So if you are forced to have three bunched up together, it's got to be this in some configuration, isn't it? Because there's no other way to fold it and have... So it just has to be a rotation of this, or a mirror image or something. A is B folded over again. That's what I thought. It might be flipped around a different way, but... He's got to rotate it. The question is how. So, like, looking at C, like, I don't know. Why, why is that wrong? Flip it over the vertical axis. That's what I, I submitted the first time. Isn't it? Yeah. That's what I first submitted. Flip it turned ways. Middle and bottom left to middle and bottom right. So this way. I don't think I've tried it this way. That's the horizontal axis. Oh, I'm flipping it vertically over the horizontal. Fair enough. Have we tried three? Why? So why would this be correct? I don't know. Maybe. I, think I trust this chat. Maybe it. Looks as if I got it. Okay. That's my boy. When the aprons fold up, you can tell which part you're looking at by where the apron straps are on the direction they point. I do like the haphazard way the flowers are arranged. Yeah, it's, make it symmetrical. What are you doing? Told you. Third try, boys. All right, off you go then. Have fun. Good luck with that apron, mother. I must go. Off to Randall's. Why are you staying outside my house, Doug? Your father run off again, Herschel? Hello, Doug. No, I'm just going to see my friend Randall's house. Oh, what's that scamp plotting now? You'll be sure to keep him out of trouble. If anything happens to that boy, his father will have the whole town in an uproar. Don't worry, Doug. We're just studying. Didn't Mr. Ascot kick you out of his house once already? Ha <laughs> ha! Trying to antagonize the man, Herschel. That was an isolated incident. Good night. Good day. Uh, where does Randall live? Um. Yeah, you, you ever you ever walk past your school late at night and one of your teachers just standing in the middle of the school, just standing there late at night? It's ominous, constantly. Because teachers live at school. <laughs> Out for a late night constitutional, Leighton. Good evening, Mr. Collins. He lives there like all teachers do. Mm -hmm. What are you doing lurking around the school at this hour? Don't you have an essay you could be writing? Ah, uh, the essay. Yes, it's coming along quite well. Almost done, mostly, sir. Well, then you'll be fully prepared for this puzzle, I assume. There is something fucked up, though. 
about when you're a kid and you see one of your teachers like grocery shopping. It's it's like it's like like Timmy's first existential crisis. Brave the caves. The young explorer wants to go from point one to point five. To do so, he must pass through the correct four caves in the cave complex shown. The wrong caves are filled with horrible traps. He has within four photos, A to D, taken by explorer who made it through successfully. Work out the correct route using the photographs. However, keep in mind that you don't know where the photos were taken. And so we have four branching paths to decide, and four photos taken at any kind of which of an order. So what do we know? We know that patch two and three have grass and patch four doesn't. So A is of four. Is that of... I think A is the top most leading from three to four because there's that bit of greenery at the very edge. Pretty flowers. So I think that's... Meh. B has flowers. B does have flowers, which are the exit. But which of the three exits is it? Can we know that? Alex just won an Oscar Avatar with two one best visual effects. Oh, fuck yeah. Let me text him. The tunnels curve or straight? Um, I feel like the where the tunnel opening is is a red herring. I feel like we need to use other clues to determine where it is. One one thousandth of an Oscar. I heard you single-handedly won an Oscar all by yourself. Congrats. You don't need a permit for a YouTube video. Yep. Three could uh, be D from blue. Um, I'm still trying to figure out B, which one B is. So we can see, maybe it's just because there's only pink flowers visible at the very right edge. So it's middle. Because red curves and looks straight ahead at a bunch of pink. Or no, is it blue? Because straight ahead from yellow, there is some pink off to the side. So it's got to be blue then. Okay, so it's the bottom one. It's three. Okay, next. Um, we have photos C and D. Which both have... Oh, okay, so... D has to be going from two to three. Yeah. He said, thanks. Yep, I made the whole movie by myself, lol. My brother, Alex Avatar Kramer. Um, <laughs> that is really cool, though. Uh, thanks for letting me know. He is an inspiration. Making movies, yeah. You just, you, 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 you hire someone like my brother and be like, hey, you got a laptop, right? Make us some graphics. And then he goes, okay, it's slash render movie. And then you're in a billion dollars. It's just a billion. It's that easy. Uh, okay, so, so then which one is D where two of them are visible. It could be the top red one or it could be yellow. Shit. I think it's red because it's like looking into that angle more directly. So I think it's, I think it's this one. Yeah. Oh, red. 
The shapes of tunnels are relevant. Right. And did I fuck up so far? I don't know. Uh, and then the last one is C, which is looking at a wall with grass. Oh, the shape meaning the, the shape of like, it's like a, uh, yeah, well, except do I know enough about the tunnels? Is that, is that meant to be that's the way it's arcing? Cause I feel like a lot of that's, that's how you take the photo. I think every choice you've made is wrong. Also in the puzzle. Thank you for clarifying. <laughs> that's what I was trying to say earlier. Cause I, like, you can take a photo of a tunnel curving to the right and then like have it on your left side. Like, I don't, I don't know. B and A look like they're curving the opposite directions to what you've picked. I mean, I, it's latent, so I'm like, I don't know if I should take it at face value. That's why I'm like, oh, you thought that was curving left from the, that way, but actually it's from the middle, and fuck you. Like, that's why I'm overthink- You overthink every puzzle except for the ones that are supposed to be overthought. <laughs> it's just 30% knows, he is. Okay, fine. Then why did- why did I- why did I fuck up then? So is it- is it this instead? Oh, you can pick all of them. That's- yeah. Is it that instead of that? And is it... Um... This instead of that? And is it... This? That doesn't make sense. I hate that. At least on the touchscreen, it looks wrong. It looks incorrect. But I don't... Listen, that must be. And then... And this one's this guy. Is that it? Now we're getting somewhere. I don't know anymore. I don't know either. Bum, bum, bum. Oh wait, is this is this is this blue? Wait, it's blue. Yeah, one that one or two is blue. Submit, submit to a I'm higher not power. Certain. That makes me mad. Did I get it? Because I I I was overthinking it for sure, but I was thinking in the context of oh, they're trying to get you with the shape of the tunnel, making you think that's significant. But what is significant is what you can see through the tunnel. So it's like, oh, there's only a little sliver of bush into the sandy area. Therefore, it has to be this one, because that's the only one that has, like, an angle where you can just barely see a little bit of that bush that's on the map. But the answer was no. That one is off to the side, so it's curving right. <laughs> you can tell where they're taking. The light on the left-hand side of a cable that bends right and vice versa with this man. You can work as a cracker. Mm, it's fine. You fool. You absolute fool. Thank you, chat. You've done your work after all. Yes, thank you, sir. Don't stay out too late. Arrested mind is a spongy mind, meaning it soaks up facts and knowledge, not that it resembles cake. What about pudding? Could I have a dick brain? I'll remember that, sir. Okay. Goodbye. Don't stay out late. Something terrible may happen. I'm quite curious to find out what scheme Randall has cooked up this time. This way to the Randall abode. Mm, I'm also curious as to what Dalston's doing here. Dalston, what are you doing? My brain is now spotted dick. A grody dick for you, sir. Bit late for a stroll, eh, Leighton? I could say the same to you, Dalston. Do your parents even know you're out? Maybe they do, maybe they don't. Who cares? I go where I like, when I like. Hey, I just saw Angela, a little fossil fan club, have another dirt digging party. You're a smart guy, Layton. What does Angela see in Randall? I mean, he's only the second richest kid in town. Uh, well, 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 I'm not sure that I follow you, Dalston. Right. What about you? Don't you get tired of always following Brat Scott's loony plans? I'm not as excited about archaeology as Randall is, but we always have fun. He's good at talking, that's for sure. Never shuts up. But aren't we getting a bit old for childish adventures? I wouldn't say that, Dalston. I mean, we're still teenagers. Still teenagers? You mean we're already teenagers? You want to spend your entire life worrying about old bits of paper? Like this puzzle? Look at this. Check it. Look, look at this. 
Look, look at it. This is puzzle number 26. Mangled math? Oh boy. Tolston has posted a math problem to Herschel. Has posed a math problem to Herschel. It's written on a homework sheet, but it's torn in several pieces, places. I don't know how to read. Making it very difficult to read. Dalston smirks as he watches Herschel examine the puzzle. With an air of self-satisfaction, he says, Still struggling? But this is the simplest math problem ever. Can you help Herschel work out the answer to the problem? Write down the number. This is 172. Oh, no, it's 17 minus 2. Right? Yeah, let's try that. The answer is 15. 15. 15. 15. I think this may be it. Looks as if I got it. I ate my math homework, Leighton. Grrr! Hope you didn't tear your hair out from where Dalston is standing. The torn parts of the page appear to form a much simpler math problem. 17 minus 2 answers 15. Classic Leighton. It, it, that, it, that, that is classic Leighton. Is the... Oh, he, this thing looks pretty tough, doesn't it? Too bad you're reading the wrong problem, nerd. Try again. The answer is two. I figured you were just as puzzle crazy as Ascot. You're a lost cause, Leighton. You and Angela both. Have fun with your little games. I can't wait till I'm a rich hotel owner so I can laugh at you all from a posh suite. Careful around Randall. You don't want to end up like the Ascot servant. I saw him carrying their groceries earlier. The guy's our age and he's already working for someone else. Shame. Henry doesn't seem to mind. It's honest work. I don't see any problem with it. Ha! Well, nobody's gonna be the boss of me, I'll tell you that. Especially not anyone from the Bratscott family. You sound awfully bitter, Dalston. If you would like to join Randall Angela and me sometime, you can just ask. Anyway, I should go. See you tomorrow! What a, what a, a kind-hearted soul, that Dalston. Oh, shit. Oh, Herschel! Hmm? Angela! Perfect timing. Beautiful night, isn't it? Yes, it is. Randall seems to be quite single-minded lately. Yeah, that's Randall. I think his enthusiasm is one of the reasons I admire him. I suppose. But that passion makes him easily excitable. You know, you're very good for him. You keep him balanced. Is balanced the same as boring? Uh... No. Randall's lucky. We're both looking out for him. Yes, he is lucky, isn't he? He's got a kind girlfriend who's concerned about his well-being, and a loyal best friend. Ah. <laughs> You'll always look out for him, won't you, Herschel? Promise me. Yes, I promise. I appreciate the red flags, Angela. Thank you. Hmm. Here. Memory null. Memories all alone with the parallax. I like how there's like just a bit of parallax left to right, but then up and down is like wow. It's really neat. Ah, fresh spring air. It's good to go outside once in a while. Touch grass, Angela. That's what they say. How things can just stay the way they are forever. And ever and ever. And nothing bad will ever happen. Do you think nothing bad will happen, Layton? Yeah. The only good thing to come out of cats. It is a good song, though. Uh, eh? You examined the air. I slipped here earlier. I'll be more careful now. Look how the moon's reflecting the way! Look at them going. Look at them. Look at them go. In the bottom left corner. Look at them go. This is what I meant to show off with his dad earlier. But it's like, how long are these other characters in your party? Three seconds? They still add them to the little party thing in the corner. It's really good. Here. Yeah. 
Wow, big house. I'd rather avoid Mr. Ascot if, it, uh, if at all possible. Good idea, Herschel. We don't want a repeat occurrence of the last time, tee hee. Layton! Get out of me house! When do you acquire hat? Oh, we got hat backstory in Unwound Future. So, if you, if you didn't... If you haven't seen that game or watched my VODs... That game's a doozy. Because that is after this point. When he's in Cool Egg. Whoa! House puzzle. The ivy on the wall is really the VIP entrance to Randall's room, isn't it? I could count the number of times I've used the front door here on one hand. With three fingers. The answer is three. The answer's three. Randall's father isn't that bad, you know. He's just strict. Very strict. Incredibly strict. I know. Let's give Randall the signal. Would you like to do the honors, Herschel? Hey, Randall, open your fucking window! We're outside! That rings a bell. Oh, God. Ring the bell and send the signal to Randall. Set the order in which the four slingshots are shot. The shots will bounce off walls once, and any obstructions they hit will break and disappear. If you get it right, the bell will ring. This is incredibly elaborate. Slide number balls in the, in the slingshots. And this way, can you hit the bum? Yeah. Bum. Bum, bum, beam, bum, beam. Beam, bum, beam. Beam. Maybe that, and then maybe that. And then maybe that, and then maybe this. Shit. Also, check this shit out. Maybe, maybe that. Sorry you're not wide, chat. But this, this is actually, look, look at it go. Oh my god. It's two screens. The cat, oh, the cat did. The cat's fine. Um. Is it those things you being... Shit. Look. Wait, maybe, maybe, maybe it's these two. I don't like the way- I thought the cat was just gonna run away. Um. Uh, 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 uh. Mm-hmm. There it is. I'm not certain. Wait, shit. Mwah. Did I get it? Sorry you weren't wide for a second there, chat. The bell rang. Hopefully Randall heard it. Who's out there ringing me fucking bell? Is that you, Layton? Always a satisfying shot. That's a go. Randall, I killed your cat. Let me in. Randall? We're here, now what's the big surprise? What took so long? Glaciers formed while I waited. Did you have to protect Angela from some evil dangers along the way, Herschel? I am bound to say the lady didn't require my aid, though I would have gladly provided it had the need arisen. Always the perfect gentleman, eh, Herschel? Chivalry is dead, you know that, right? I like to think that it's just hibernating. So, what is it you're so worked up about? Yes, Randall, what is it? I can't stay out too late tonight, you know. Patience, my friends. Some things require a bit of presentation. Hmm? Huh? <laughs> Is that the Mask of Chaos? Oh. Well. The Mask of Chaos. Majora's Mask, the one and only. This is what Donald Rutledge wrote about in Ancient Histories. I found it. Don't be absurd, Randall. That's not real. How could it be? I assure you, Angela, this is absolutely 100% the genuine article. According to Rutledge, the legend says he who holds the Mask of Chaos may make Hapa all that which he desires. That sounds nice. I would wish for tea and a nice hat. I don't believe a word of it, of course. It's just ancient superstition. But upon examining the mask, I made my own discovery. Something Rutledge didn't mention? Exactly. The mask may not grant wishes literally. However, it can perform at least one incredible miracle. It holds the key to an unimaginable fortune. Treasures beyond our dreams. 
If I can crack the puzzle of the mask, it will lead me straight to unknown riches. Well, say something. Are you ready for a true archaeological expedition? Uh, not quite, Randall. How do you know this is the real mask? Where did you get it? Both fair questions, my dear Herschel. It wasn't easy. I had to crack a devilish puzzle to get my hands on the mask. Smash cut to Randall having to slide a block across an empty fucking thing. Just straight line. A puzzle? What puzzle? Oh, shit. Take a look at this. Show me the puzzle. Behold. Nice spin there, buddy. Uh, this is not a puzzle. This is madness. What is this? I don't understand. Pepe Silvia is an anagram, of course. We made the trip yeah. to Monte Dor to investigate the Mask of Chaos. There, we witnessed a terrifying sight. Civilians petrified before our very eyes. Are you ready for the best scene in the game? Sure. We met Angela Lador, an old friend of the professor's. We also learned of a tragic event in Professor Layton's past. Yeah, he learned his best friend was a nerd. It's rough. I didn't get much sleep that night, but the sunrise was quite beautiful. Damn, Emmy. Just going through it. I would like to save my progress. Meanwhile, back in the present? Chapter 3, The Battle for Mont d'Or. Monty Dor. Monty Hall. Oh, God. <laughs> Who let him sleep in the furniture? Who let him sleep on a bed? Got his own bed to himself. The mech Where child. Is... <laughs> the mech huh? child. Good of you to join us, Luke. I thought the professor's apprentice would have been up at the crack of dawn. I'm up now. Where are we off to today? Uh, we've already solved the case, Luke. We found the masked gentleman while you were sleeping. What happened? What did I miss? Nah, I mean, he's just teasing you, Luke. Pay her no mind. Now, before we meet with Angela, let's review what we know so far. Emmy's just teasing you, Luke, but while you were asleep, the masked gentleman did strike again and 80 people are dead. Anyway, a puzzle to warm you up? A good idea. Well, we saw someone calling himself the masked gentleman turn a group of tourists to stone. We then met Angela Lador, who explained her letter in a bit more detail. She informed us the masked gentleman had been wreaking havoc across town for quite some time now. You can cut the tension with a knife out there. If the masked gentleman isn't caught soon, who knows what might happen next? Yes, in order to restore peace to Mont d'Or, I'm afraid we're going to have to confront the masked gentleman. Thank you for the hydrate. In order to do that, we need to find out who is behind that mask as soon as possible. Unfortunately, it doesn't sound like the police have any suspects lined up. Perhaps we can get some information from Angela's husband, Henry. Yes, I was thinking that as well. Yo, Dalston, from their childhood, we still need to investigate his study where he kept the mask before it was stolen. Boom, 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 boom. Make sure you bring a mandrake. Yeah. To the west, as the desert stretches out as far as the eye can see. A lot of deserts in England, right? It's a miracle they managed to build such a thriving city here. Look at the circus tents! <laughs> Professor, your star apprentice is reflected in the mirror. Professor, your star assistant is reflected in the mirror. Oh, I spy a refined gentleman reflected in the mirror. That's cute. A cultural desert hashtag burn. Damn. Damn. Fuck. Uh, the deserts of Britain are the funniest parts of this game. <laughs> a bed puzzle? This is a pleasant surprise. A hidden puzzle. Oh, good 
good god. No! Okay. All right. Yep. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Done. All right. Check this out. Check this out. You ready for this? Check this out. Watch this. You ready for this? Absolutely. Um. Shit. Fuck. Um. I almost got it real quick, though. Uh, done. Next puzzle. This is how it's done. Yeah, point all you want. All in the day. Point well. away. See if I care. You can solve this puzzle in six moves. Fuck you. How dare you? <laughs> Frankly, how dare you? Taxing, but still enjoyable. Solitaire, kinda. Uh Oh yeah, a broken alarm clock. Oh, 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 what? Uh, oh. Yeah. Oh shit, we should check on Benui. Hold on. Uh, uh, bunny. Oh yeah. Why hello? Thank you so much for helping me with my ring with the ringmaster. I forgot Luke can talk to animals, and we must be Luke for this. I'm Lukest. Nice to meet you. You got a name? Ha, huh, yes, of course. I'm Luke. I'm the apprentice of the one and only Professor Layton. If you want to get back into the circus, you've got quite a bit of work to do, Lukest. I know, I know. People are always telling me that I'm not working up to my full potential. But I'm ready now to try my best. Really, I am. It's too bad that the ringmaster never understood a word I said. But you can actually talk to me! Were you a bunny scholar at school? Uh, no. I'm not sure how I'm able to talk to you, actually. It's just something that comes naturally with animals for me. That's amazing. You must be some sort of genius. <laughs> not quite. I think it's a skill I inherited from my father? His dad can talk to animals? People give me funny looks sometimes, but I never give it up for anything. After all, we wouldn't have become friends if we couldn't speak to each other. Friends? Are we? Friends? Is it Luke's old 2D sprite in his dialogue portrait? Uh, maybe? I don't know. He just looks like Luke. Of course! And we're going to get you back into that circus, whatever it takes. Then you can see all of your friends there, too. We! Oui. Yippee. I can't wait to see them again. Thanks a whole bunch of carrots, Luke. In the rabbit minigame, you want to help your rabbit get its status back as a worthy member of the One Ring Circus. You must help the- not this- that's the rabbit you killed, remember? We want you to remember what it looked like. But imagine that you did pick that one, and that this one is still alive. Uh, but this is the rabbit you must help perform it to the ringmaster's satisfaction in every play of the r troops' rabbit show. To perform in the rabbit show, your rabbit will have to learn some actions. To teach the rabbit actions, you'll need to chat with it. You picked the- the brown bunny, right? Yeah, we hope you did. You can also train the rabbit to help it learn different actions. When your rabbit learns a new action, it will be recorded in the rabbit journal. Tap the rabbit journal icon on the bottom of the touch screen to check the list of your rabbit's actions. Sometimes the rabbit journal will contain hints on how to teach your rabbit an action that it doesn't know yet. Make sure you check the journal regularly. If you've had your fill of training, try out the different rabbit icons. You can just watch your rabbit play around and hop from place to place. Cute. Get to know your rabbit and teach it a variety of actions that it can perform in the plays. That's the quit button. I want to climb higher. Oh. Yep. Oh my god. You're all the way up there now. Oh shit, be careful! Whoa, big jump! That was red. I'm going to jump across. Are you watching this? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh! 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 Who taught you to move like that? Holy goddamn hell. Go down the ramp. Watch me go on the slide. I'm watching. Getting to the edge of the slide. Oh! The shmovement. Holy shit, is this one just take a nap? I'm getting a bit sleepy. Oh my god. Yeah, get your get your JPEG on the ground. Oh. Oh. Get. He was sleepy. 
10 out of 10 game of the century. Yep. Making this game 3D was the best possible decision they could have made. Um. Uh, jaunt? Prance? Handwalk? Sulk? Flee? Shock and awe? Uh-huh. In the revenue game, you want to help your rabbit get sass back? Yep. Oh, no. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. Check the journal. How you doing? Hey there, I've got a great idea, Lucas. Hmm? What would that be? Well, seeing as the ringmaster gave us some scripts here, let's teach you some moves so you can act in the plays. You know, like choreography. Choreography sounds fishy. It'll be great. We have planned some actions for you to perform. We'll make them really cute. Hmm. Sniff, sniff. Sorry, I don't think I could do that. I don't think I'm cut out for this performer thing. Don't give up before you try. I'm sure you can do it. Practice makes perfect. You really think so? Well, all right. I'll give it a try. Let me ask you a question. What is the thing you're best at, Lucas? What am I best at? Hmm. I really don't know. Oh, I'm good at jumping in the air, and I can cheer. Oh, and I can shiver pretty well, too. Right. Okay, well, let me jot that down. Cheering and shivering. Got it. I don't know what else I can do. That's okay. We'll start there. We can do this bit by bit so we don't overload your little head with too much. Let's start with cheering. Tell me a bit more about that. Let me think. This is hard. My brain. Well, I cheer when I'm happy. I just jump up in the air and go yippee. But the way a rabbit does. Great! So we'll mark cheer as a happy action. Yep, I'm happy when I cheer. I'm guessing you shiver when you're frightened? Oh, yes. Sniff, sniff. Or cold. I don't like scary things. They make me feel all tingly. There, there. It's all right now. Well, I think we can use this. Why not have a go right now? Let's try one of the actions you just mentioned. Can you wiggle your tail and try to look silly? Wiggle my tail? Oh, you mean my tufty? Sure, I can wiggle my tufty. You call your tail a tufty. Is everything you say that cute? Wiggle has been added to the, ro the rabbit journal. Lucas learned to cheer and shiver. Tap the chat icon to see if your rabbit has anything on its mind. It might have something important to discuss with you. From time to time, it'll have an idea for a new action which will be recorded in your rabbit journal. You also teach your rabbit new actions by training it. Check the rabbit journal to see what new actions your rabbit can learn and how you can teach them. If you tap the train icon, the rabbit will hop up close so you can touch it with the stylus. Once it comes up to you, follow the hints in the rabbit journal to teach your rabbit any new actions. Oh my god. Hello. Let's start with some basic- let's start with the basics of CQC. Tap the arrows on either side of the touch screen to make your rabbit turn. The rabbit already knows some basic moves. It can stand on its hind legs and do a handstand. Let's try those. To get your rabbit to stand up, touch and hold its chest and slide the style straight up in a slow and steady motion. Your rabbit will stand up on its hind legs. When your rabbit has stood up for as long as you want, rub its head gently with the stylus. It will return to all fours. Why don't you try it? Use the stylus to get your rabbit to stand up on its hind legs. Oh. There you go. There you go, buddy. Good job. Luke, look. I can balance on two feet, just like you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Don't take my job, please. You make it look so easy. Let's try a handstand whenever he needs to. To get your rabbit to do a handstand, touch and hold its head, then slide the stylus down. When your ha rabbit has done a handstand for as long as you want, rub its head gently to make it stop. Now it's your turn. Do it. Do it. Handstand. Yeah, yeah! Good job. Good job. Whoa, I'm a bit wobbly. You're getting the hang of it. Don't worry. Okay, thanks. Now then, let's try to teach your rabbit how to wiggle. First, gra get your rabbit to turn around until it has its back to you. Then touch the rabbit's back and slide the stylus in wide motions back and forth from left to right. If you do it right, your rabbit will wiggle its bottom from side to side. That's all it takes to learn wiggle. Wiggle! W wiggle. Wiggle? Wig- Oh! Whoa! 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 Wiggle, wiggle! Look! Look, look! That's really cute. Really? Tee-hee. 
In fact, it's so adorable I'm putting it in the rabbit journal right this second. Try it in a scene where you're supposed to be really excited. Will do. Lucas learned Wiggle. More info's been added for Wiggle. This game is incredible. Um... What else do you know how to do? Oh my god, it actually is like distorting it. Oh! Oh! Well... He fell asleep. Brit Bruce. Oh, he didn't like that. Uh... Cheek. Fluffy cheek. Poke him, rub the eyeball, tender... <laughs> tenderly caress the eye orb of the rabbit. He likes, he likes when you touch that eyeball with your open palm. Yes. Look into my hand what you see, rabbit. Yes. Pretty little rabbit. Okay, fine. All right. <laughs> um, what if you were sideways? And then I touched the eyeball. Little rabbit. Hello. You're my friend, yes. Hello. Okay, um... Everything I do just makes him sleepy. What kind of animal doesn't like a nice eyeball massage, right? Come on. Uh... Yeah, uh... Wait, so these are- are these- these are things I need to learn? That I don't know yet? I don't know. Goodbye! I just read the first play. Good news, Lucas! I think we can take a crack at it with what you've learned so far. It's the first of many, but you've got to start somewhere. Really? We're starting so soon. Can I have a bit more time, please? My foot is out of place and my nose is itchy and... No excuses! You'll never manage if you don't try. I'm just not very confident about my skills, though. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Even if you make a mistake, there's always tomorrow. I suppose so. Okay, I'll try my best. Now your rabbit knows a few actions. How about trying out the rabbit show? You obtain new scripts for the plays by solving puzzles in the main game. There are ten scripts in all. Each one tells a different story using its own set of actions. Once you choose a play, tap start to practice the performance. Okay. In the circus show, the rabbit must perform various actions to accompany a story. You'll need to select appropriate actions to illustrate each part of the script with the bunny you definitely picked, right? The ringmaster will watch the rabbit's performance and decide whether it's satisfactory or not. Touch the arrows on either side of the touchscreen to scroll through the script, then select an action for each plot point. Once you've chosen an appropriate action, touch the select icon to set it. Each part of the story that has a blank space requires an action. Make sure you don't leave any gaps in the performance. The ringmaster will give you hints for certain key lines in the script. Pay close attention to what he says. If you don't satisfy his expectations for those actions, the, the rabbit will fail. Once you're ready to perform, touch the curtain up icon to start the show. You obtain new scripts for the plays by solving puzzles in the main- You said that already! If you can successfully perform every play, you may get a reward. Of some kind? Okay. The script's gonna require six different actions, got it? Bunny's enjoying a pleasant walk in the woods one day, when things take an unexpected turn. It was a hot sunny day, Bunny set out happily for a stroll in the woods. You want to amble along in a joyful way, look happy. Uh, jaunt. Next. He'd only gone a little way, though, when black clouds filled the sky. Soon he heard a deep rumble of thunder. Look frightened. Maybe quiver a bit. Tremble with fear. Benui ran into the woods for cover when lightning struck a giant tree. This is easy. Just look surprised. Fall over with surprise. Poor startled Benui turned tail and ran away from the woods as fast as his legs would carry him. Certainly hope you don't need any help getting motivated for this. He ran. Um. Uh, uh, run away in terror. Flee. Benui ran until he realized the rain had stopped. He was amazed to see that he was standing in a field of sunflowers. Look around at your surroundings in amazement. Big eyes. Look from side to side in awe. Yes. No longer scared, Bunny was glad the storm happened because now he had lots of tasty sunflower seeds to eat. This one's easy. I want to see you burst in with joy. Uh, uh, probably cheer. Let's go. Curtain up. 
Hello, do we win the carnival? Fucking bunny! Hey, welcome to the real game. This place should be a snap. Don't mess it up. Oh ho, starting strong, I see. Keep going. You only got a little way when black clouds fill the sky soon you hear the deep rumble thunder. Not bad. Keep going. Bunny ran to the woods for cover when lightning struck a giant tree. Excellent. I mean, good. Poor startled Bunny turned tail and ran away from the woods as fast as his legs would carry him. Not bad. Keep going. Bunny ran till he realized the rain had stopped. He was amazed to see that he was standing in a field of sunflowers. Keep going. No longer scared, Bunny was glad the storm happened because now he had lots of tasty sunflower seeds to eat. You're a cute little guy when you want to be. Hmm. All right, you pass. Anyone could have done that. Bravo. Oh, he's taking a bow. Boo! Whip. See, didn't I tell you to do just fine? I don't think it'll be long before you nail the next one. Right. Actually, I was thinking, and I might have thought of another action. Ooh, what is it? Well, maybe it could be an action for when I hear exciting news. And I have one for when I'm tired. Perfect. The more moves you learn, the better. Keep it up. Okay. I'll jot these down in the rabbit journal, Lucas. Thanks. I wish I could understand your little scribbles there. Stagger. Chatter. Good. Goodbye. See you later. Maybe learn flamethrower. Later. That's a it's an advanced technique. See that woman over there, Professor? Do you know her, Emmy? I don't think so, but there's something familiar about her. Ma'am? Don't you just love Mont d'Or? The parade, the carnival, the costumes, the puzzles. Why, it's enough to make a granny blush. You folks look like you may have some brains between you. Are you puzzlers? Yes, we are. I'm sorry, don't I know you? No, that isn't me. I'm from out of town. Just trying to keep a low profile, you know. You can call me Nanograms. Very well, Nanograms it is. A pleasure. Did you say something about puzzles? So this is how they maintain the timeline. She's like, no, 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 I'm incognito. I did. I bear such a resemblance to other beautiful and clairvoyant puzzle keepers that I thought I'd take up that duty. You know. Life is chock full of puzzles. Easy puzzles, hard puzzles, fun puzzles, but never a boring one. Puzzles are everywhere. But sometimes a puzzle might stump us and we need to put it off till later. Other times we may miss a puzzle completely. That's where I come in. I gather up those poor neglected puzzles, rinse them off, and put them out on display. So if we miss any puzzles or need to skip any puzzles for the moment, we can just come to um, nanograms here. Indeed, very convenient. You bet. Just remember where old Granny... I, I mean, where the mysterious nanograms is to find any puzzles you've passed over. That's incredible. Thanks. Of course. When you want to go back to a puzzle, come give me a tap. Thanks, Granny. I mean, nanograms. Good day, Monsieur Layton. I trust you slept well last night. Very well, indeed. The room is wonderful. Of course it is, sir. We are the finest hotel in Mont -Dol. We strive for excellence and we enjoy achieving what we strive for. With so many hotels here in town, I imagine the competition for business must be fierce. For some, perhaps. However, for those who matter, they know where to find quality. If you need anything at all, please ask. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. What a gentleman. Future bee murderer. That wasn't her, that was the little girl, wasn't it? The town certainly has quieted down since last night. I wouldn't count on that lasting for long. Do you think there will be another parade tonight, Professor? I don't know, Luke, but I'm sure there will be plenty of exciting events regardless. Professor, should we continue gathering information from witnesses? Yes, Emmy, I was thinking that we could ask around on our way to the Lador Estate. Professor, look! There's that little girl who was lost yesterday. There she is. And she's lost her goddamn ma again. You kidding me? Let's go to any building nanograms, isn't it? 
I want to talk to the clown and lost my mommy again. It's a very rude way of referring to your father. Wait! She's lost again. That's terrible. We must continue our investigation, but a true gentleman would never abandon someone in need. Right, let's find this girl's mother. Again. Now there, my dear, where did you last see your mother? She was... She was where the water shoots up by the big tent. She must mean Carnival Square, Professor. Let's go check it out. Let's go. Uh, and beep, 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 Smash my things for 96 bits. Noise. It's swing. Layton knows fencing. Another anime sword fighter in Smash Bros. confirmed. Right? He fits in perfectly. Ice cold Cloaca Cola. Thanks for nine months. I hope you really savor this prime sub as well as my fresh new username. Look at my pixel part. Oh, everyone's here. Thanks for giving me something nice to look at after reading that username. Thank you. Ice cold. Appreciate it. Enjoy your Ruby key. Thanks for the prime. Takemis, thank you for five years. Back in five years. Loved every minute of it. And you too, chat. Reading the cold love. Thank you, Chemist. Enjoy your Kiwi key. Thank you so, so much for all the years of support. Three bees in a trench coat. Thanks for 39 months. Cave soup. Lucas just said, friends, hold up. Associate is fine, weirdo. Hey, calm down. Nintendo play. Thanks for four years. These last four years remind me of a puzzle. Love being here. One of the few places where I can, I can have a bunch of laughs and feel good about myself. I'm glad to hear it. Thank you. Welcome back. Enjoy your key card key. Um, I don't care what everybody says that was a good username. It is a potent username. And Petco. He's for 27 months. Come back. Um, I think this might be where I calls it for today. Um, daylight saving fucked me up and, I, and I, my body doesn't know what time it is. Even though I can see that it's a little after 8. But, um, we're gonna come back to this soon. Pick it back up. So, I hope you're enjoying... Click a call made me quit. Exactly. That's what it is. <laughs> Not anything else. Uh, but shit. Didn't mean to slide the volume up. Yeah. I love this hotel. The 2R7. Yeah. It sounds fancier in French. Um, sorry about that. Thank you all for hanging out. I hope you're enjoying Professor Layton and the Miracle Mask. And, uh, for anyone that didn't join for the, the whole movie night yesterday watching Eternal Diva, should give it a watch. It's if you enjoy the Layton games, you'll enjoy the movie because it's just as silly, um, and it's on Yub Dub, so w much easier to watch than in times ago. Um, but yeah, thank you all for hanging. Have a good one. Um. Do you watch parties or Discord movies? I, I only the very only one yesterday. That's the first time I've done a, a, a Discord movie night, um, and I don't really plan to do another one. It's not that I didn't enjoy it. It just to me, it's the kind of thing that made sense for the latent movie. But yeah, we'll see. But you should join the 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 Barry Cord regardless. It was a fun time. Yeah, it was yesterday. You missed it. Sorry to say. Um, do you guys gonna want to go wish Onsta a happy Friday night? I mean, it's Sunday, but you know. Onsta's playing like a dragon, Ishin. Actually, that reminds... I, I know it's... Listen, it's Friday night somewhere. I forgot to mention that um, I did add this BTTV emote. Which is Onsta and Kiryu dancing. So go that that's the raid message. If you want to say that with Friday night, it's her emote. So it's Friday night somewhere. Yeah. So you want you want to do like like a like a happy Friday night like that. There you go. Now that's a raid message. This emote. Yeah. Onsta literally just sent me that link <laughs> like yesterday, and I sent her back a screenshot of me having added it to my my stream. So. Happy Friday night. Thank you for hanging out. Appreciate it. Hope you all have a good one. Uh, and um, uh, go wish on a happy Friday night. Go enjoy some Like a Dragon Ishin. If that is not something you feel like watching, um, Dan is doing some Deep Rock Galactic. And I was seriously debating rating him, but oh, I, feel, I, I can't decide. I, I follow too many people that do good streams. Anyway, um, 
Take care. Uh, and, uh... Oh, it's Dan and Dan. Ooh. And Dither's doing Dithercraft? Shit. I even see Dither on my list. Where's Dither? There's Dither. Anyway, uh, goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. See you later. Uh, <laughs> I, I, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, VOD Watchers. Um, be well. Take care. Thanks for enjoy. I hope you enjoyed. And see you, see you, see you, see you, see you later. Make sure you solve a puzzle. I don't know. Anyway, bye. Go watch Eternal Diva. It's, it's stupid. <laughs> bye.